All right, and hit record again. Hello. Excuse me. Pardon me. Hey, Ma. I'm so sorry. Okay. Told okay. So, so here's what we're gonna do. All right. Okay. I'm gonna start recording. I'm gonna do a three. Would this start recording already? Yeah, it's already recording. Don't worry about any of this. I'm going to say after I'm done doing this record, I'm going to say three, two, one. You're going to wait one second, and then you're going to start talking. Just click your hand like that. And don't curse for the first second. Right, Josh. What? Bro. It's not you. We do one. What? No cursing. Okay. No, for just for the first 30 30 seconds. seconds. Okay. Bro. 30 seconds. That's it. And I haven't done anything. Not that seven talk either, please. Dude, I literally told all of you, Jet, like... Roy, Roy's exempt. He wasn't here for this. But I said, I'm starting a YouTube channel. And, we told and you it's going to be Southern Hill. Right. Right. It sucks for you guys. So I'm, so I'm, I'm recording the screen now. Okay. I accidentally exited out. That's fine. I'm going to just re fill it. Okay. So we got the screen recording. Okay. Three, two, one. Hey, YouTube. This is Mr. Bundy. We're coming with a different video than we normally do. Uh, that's just, you finally get to see my face. Uh, I have a group of friends here. We apologize, man. Shut up. <laughs> you know how you've seen her and maybe uh, seen her decks before, but never seen her actually face to fill those decks. So we're going to go from this side of the room. Cedric. Crow. Roy. Jamar. <laughs> <laughs> Joe. And Z. Our editor, so. Barbecue, bacon, burger. <laughs> you know, and then we got a guy off screen and that you can't see right the now. the peanut gallery. But you'll hear his voice as he's playing Destiny. <laughs> so what we're doing today is our first episode of Tech it. Talk. So I thought, why not start with the history collection? And, and so we have some new players we've never played in G whatsoever. And are, who are looking forward to uh, getting dipping their toes into that. Uh, play screen, so if you understand it, yeah. I think Pro is the only one oh, that has played G. Yeah. Oh, then play G. I've no, actually our, 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 our country bumpkin over here hasn't played G before. I've actually never yes. played G as well. I've dabbled in I've, I've like certain G. art types in G, but I've never you actually played G. Let's just get into, into it. it. Yeah. 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 Okay, then I don't know nothing. Right. See, no he crap, doesn't know We have various different players here with varying amounts of experience in regards to the cards we're discussing today, so we get a lot of different perspectives. How about that? Bacon burger. Either way, Fine. you are so triggered Either today. way, but that's what we're going to be doing today. So we're going to run it down from the starters all the way down for every clan and explain what they do, our opinions of them, and do they change in the meta. Which, speaking also, of which, yeah, like all the starters are actually V starters, so they have nothing to do with G. To begin with, I mean, uh, that, that is not true. Oh, true. Also, that it's not true. The more you say, me and I, Victor, it's like almost midnight, so we stutter without we apologize. That is true. That is not true. Me, One me, of them me. is a G starter. Victor got an extreme battler starter. I mean, also, we're talking about like things that were G starters. There's the I mean, Marva Garafa that was a G starter. I mean, if you're, not, if you're not playing a V starter, I'm claiming, what are you doing? Crying. Well, you see, here's, <laughs> here's the thing that I brought up is that honestly, I think it's better to play the original. Garafa starter in premium because the original starter in uh, premium is able to search out your entire ride line while all this does is just give you a draw and a quick shield. Well, when we get to Megatron, you can explain that in deeper, deeper thought. And oh, yeah. Yes, 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 <laughs> and then I'll tell you why you're wrong. Question. The, oh, yeah, right. Just to explain, what's the difference between a V and a G starter? So V starters are, have all the identical effect. When you ride on top of them, you draw a card. If you went second, you gain a quick shield. This is a plus one, sometimes plus two in terms of card advantage. Far and away, what you should be playing in 99% of decks. Hey, Todd, you explained to me what a shield was earlier. Also, <laughs> I mean, also, this guy didn't know about G starters. I, I'm still talking. G starters. I'm talking at you. That's great. G starters <laughs> are any starter with a four runner ability. You call them out. They do something. Usually have to wait till GB1. They're kind of bad. Well, here's the thing is that Pupa Garafa wasn't a four runner. Its entire skill... Which, you know... The exception we'll, we'll, to what I'll I said to is this long. We'll get into it when we get into it. So, yeah. first thing we're looking at are all the V starters that are coming out that actually got reprinted for their yeah. pseudo-archetypes. So, what, first thing we're going to go over is the Jewel Knight. Yes. I don't think it really does anything. It just gives it flavor for the for the clan. It, it actually it, does. It would have been nice if it was in English. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they all say, no, they all say, the only thing that matters actually is that ever so a... slightly matters, as, mainly in V, but it could theoretically matter in premium. Like, the only thing Jewel that really matters is, is that it has Jewel a name. Jewel Soul Blast quite a bit and have a pretty strong ability to recycle cards from deck. So it means that if you had to Soul Blast the starter and then had to return it to the deck, if you redraw it, like, you can now return it and redraw it and it's another Jewel Knight card you can put back. 
extremely minor corner case, but like it's technically optimal. So the important thing is that it just has a Jewel Knight name in it. Well, that's all of these. It's so not like their effects or anything special. That's yeah. what I'm saying is that like the important yeah. thing about all these starters is that they have an archetypal name to yes. them now. I have no idea what you just said, but you said something. That's great. <laughs> all right, next okay, up. All right, let's move over to the next slide. Battle Sisters. Oh. Yeah, this is all in one slide. Uh, battle all, sisters, these, all the starters are in the same slide. thing. It just has the Battle Sisters name. Yeah, I'm sure some corner cases will come up, but it's not a big impact. Um, like, as far as Battle Sisters go, since I have experimented with OTT yeah. in the past, I think the only thing that Battle Sisters really does is that it just gives it power. So if you, like, for some Maybe reason, if call there's, it like, out some soul. special Soul Blast cost that yeah. I can't Yeah, there, is, there are skills that old, old, uh, there are skills that old, uh, That'll say Soul Blast 1 Battle, battle Sister. Sister card. So things like that yeah. don't matter. Uh, next up, this one literally does not matter. I cannot remember the name, but it's the Spectral Duke starter. Oh, it yeah. does nothing. It's right about Vortimer. Yeah, and Vortimer. That, thank you, Vortimer. No, no, yeah. Vortimer actually does matter because in, in G, you do need all your... The more so, Vortimers you have in the deck, the better. So here's how it worked. For G era, it was you had to receive right, the Grade 1 Vort Black Dragon Knight. Vort no, Vortimer. Vortimer. Scout Darkness Vortimer on top of it, then you, the, uh, the Great Deal lets you search. That is true, but this is assuming you're playing the original with the V versions, which you If you did premium, then you do what you're supposed to. It just sounds no, because like the V versions have far better effects. No, I'm saying, you play in premium, you do the G-Error Vort, um, Black Dragon Ball, and then you V series of um, Scout Darkness. So when you write, you get double searching. I guess. It just sounds like right now, based on all the starters that I'm hearing, it just sounds like a bunch of like theme stuff. Yes, they're yeah, all theme starters, yeah, theme starters, two specific yeah. archetypes. They just finally give us. Uh, next up really is going. the Raptor Dragon starter. Oh, accidentally. Tachikaze. Yes. Uh, it's it's Tachikaze. It, 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 it's just Tachikaze. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me. I do not believe it matters when we pull the back. Really. It, it, it has the same minor applications for Spectral Two, where if you want to play the old cards of the Ride Chain yeah. and Premium, it's a new version of the starter without counting as the starter. But like, that's I'll do a V series. Let's do the pure V series. Yeah, yeah it, it's series better. But if you if you wanted to play the OG Grade One, you can yeah. now go V series Grade Two to OG Grade One. But again, similar to the Vortimer starter. Eh. Now, are all of these effects with the Quick Shield? Yeah. 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 All of them are literally the exact same effects. All the same stuff. The only thing that matters. Right. So, like, Chaos, they didn't have a Quick Shield or uh, a Quick Shield. That no, they, they well, matched their all. They, they all did. They, they had a Link Joker they, one. Yeah. Uh, it was the... Did they uh, have the Star the Cyber Dragon. Yeah. 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 Star Vader. Yeah. 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 They have Black Bolt Dragon. Yeah, now we have Star Vader. They have Star Vader. All of the V starters... In Star Vader, it doesn't matter because they look for... Star Vader names. Right, right, So, right. like, it only matters if you're able to, for whatever reason, return your starter to the deck. Oh, or yeah. if there's an effect that, that has specifically has the Soul Blast or yeah. said yeah. Right. archetype name from Soul. That's so, 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 basically, all of these are just retrains and yeah. uh, pushed into having the Quick Shield effect. Yeah. So, yeah. like, names uh, the Quick Shield effect? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, The so Quick basically, Shield effect is not new. All of the original fun. starters printed before the Quick Shield errata were errated to have it. Right. So it's not like we're giving this player like, the ability to yes, get it yet. Yeah, but so also, every V starter gains a quick shield. These the text of these cards is not new for anything. But their names oh, yeah. is the only relevant part, and even then, most of their usability is. I would say the out of all of these starters, we don't have to go into every one of them, but. Out of all these cards, I think the grand blue one has the most. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Let's not do that real quick. Let's go through them here. quickly because I think we're spending a bit too much time on these. Lynchu, maybe some special soul, a soul blast cost for eradicator. Cool, not big deal. Extreme Babbler starter, I believe V Victor can call out Extreme Babblers yeah. for someone when you ride him. Yep. So if you do not manage to draw any Extreme Babblers, you have a target, which is like, okay, sure, it's better. Who cares? Uh, Zeal, same implications as Vortimer and Raptor Colonel. Some fun stuff in premium, but at the end of the day, nothing special. Dust Tail, the Stargator starter. Again, it gives the sub clan name, same as Lynchu. Yeah. Some minor situations, but not a big deal. Ghosty one, very big. Very big. Absolutely very the big. most important one here. It, um, the Ghosty and deck in Grand Blue, well, not the whole Ghosty deck, but the Ghosty engine is a very crucial part to the top Grand Blue decks right now. This basically guarantees you the grade zero to end Yeah, on. it guarantees you a ghosty that you will be able to call out no matter Which what also, you draw, by the way, find like, your mill. 
like if you're running the ghosty engine you were incentivized to run the 2k heels because that was a ghosty name yes. so now you don't have to run the ghosty heels anymore which lets so you play heel guards yeah yep. unless you play the heel guards and so now you can run this um, grade zero the next one as your i need your expertise here i genuinely cannot tell if that's blue storm or blue wave either way that is ripples oh it's ripples that's a ripple card that one actually might matter. Yeah, that one. I mean, this use is banned, but the V Ripple cards are still very powerful. That way you Definitely. can ripple someone's crit right off the top of their Probably head. the second best one, last but not least, is Jarafa. That one 100% matters. Yeah, I was waiting for this. Because the, only, the most important thing about it is that it's another Jarafa name in V. That's the most important thing about this. Honestly, I do think the original Garafa starter in premium is better, but this one in V matters so much because now on your first grade three ride, you are able to get four different named Garafas into your soul, which with the way that the grade three Garafa works, it now becomes a 32K unboosted attacker. And That's way, so and cool. Way, and the way you play it. That's okay. the only reason but why it matters. Now that like, we, an extra the, 5K the, the reason it why it matters when it for budget decks is, is a very good uh, okay. or, no, it's a, it helps the strategy towards a budget deck to be more progressive. That is the reason why these cards you know, are I like it when our strategies are more progressive. You know, happy pride. Um, go Jurassic. It's so great that we're filming this in June. I'm just sorry. You right okay, so that's every starter. Let's move, on to, the, let's move on to the next slide. All right, so next slide. These are all I the will cards. take this. No, no, before you do, let me say something. Before we really go into the reprints here, I, uh, we should uh, clarify that every clan has the same general reprint pattern before yes. we go into what each clan has. Every clan gets reprinted. One G Guard, one VR, their original Giera Strider that corresponds with the new support in this set, their original Stride Fodder, their Counter Charge Perfect Guard, and their Draw PG, as well as a starter, whether it be a new or an old one, and all of the eroded cards. This leaves roughly six new card slots to talk about for each clan. Yep. Now then, to our Royal Paladin expert. Yep, the first one we got is Royal Paladins, which I have nothing to say. As the Royal Paladin main of the group, I can go over every one of these cards and tell you the significance of whether you should or should not run these cards in your deck. Starting with the kill, uh, starting with the G Guardian. Yes and no. There is a better one that gets uh, more power for having what you need on the board. And you really don't care for flipping over your G units to get more GD count in the Royal Paladin deck now. Uh, you can run it, but there's a better one. I don't know the name off the top of my head right now. Uh, Vivid Sacred Staff uh, Argonauts. I, yeah. Argonauts. Yeah. So uh, for having two grade twos on board, you get plus 10k. This one only needs one grade two in a, in a flip of a G Guardian. They both do the exact same thing, but you don't need a, a higher GD count. Yeah. Because you cannot use that G Guard as your first G Guard as required. Correct. Even want. Uh, next is uh, Aerial Divine at All Mount for V. Now, this is the cornerstone of your deck. You're not, if you're going first, you're not going to run around, but this is your going second play. Uh, effect is once you have another All Mount Soul and no face up counterblast, all of your great two rear get 5k shield, 10k power, plus one crit, which is the most important part of having another All Mount in the soul. This way, if your opponent cannot guard anything round grade two or higher, you are literally going to crit them out of the fucking game. You Wait, gotta have so, it with that one. Do, do, you know, do you understand how many people I put, put, put from zero to six Wait, off of so, that? So if everything is flipped? And yeah. everything is flipped down. If you have so, no so face of counterblast. So how I'm understanding this is if you have no counterblast out, you can just do it. Yeah. Yes. yes. And the whole deck is built around so doing each other back. So in, in for the V series, all my care about be counter blast heavy, yes. specifically so you have nothing face up, so you can just have power and just ram into your opponent. Okay, just next up, so it's just Leading Jewel Knight Salome, yes. very good reprint here. Most of the previous Jewel Knight cards have been reprinted in the uh, D-Clan collections. This is one of the big standouts that still holds a high price tag. While it is very good, it's debatable if it's still the best option with both Ashley and Ashley Reverse being out, but it's always good to have more options. At least right. if you didn't get the Clan collection, now you have a chance. It doesn't matter because it drops the price of the old card. No, that's what I'm saying. I literally yeah. said that. Yeah. So the next two cards are the G era grade twos. You do not run these in your deck. I'm, I'm sorry to say that. Altma does not really care about having your counter blast face up so you can go multi tech heavy. A because these cards don't have a 10k 10k power base. B they don't gain a whole lot of power on, on their own. Someone gains 3k. I'm sorry. 12 plus 10k, <laughs> 12 plus 
Justin into 20, which it makes a difference. But you have to be in the Brave State. No, it does, but I'm joking. You have to be in the Brave State. And who you have Brave? to be in Brave against a non force deck, GB1. And Brave was what? Three, 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 three or less. Or less Mind you, you don't I, be, you don't want to be I think, near that. I Can think I all my the other one, Albion, <laughs> not very good. I think Solomon's use is debatable with the new stride. It is a pretty cost efficient way to get extra attacks going if you wanted to try that kind of build. But as of right now, Royal Pellet is a four attack deck only because of our new grade two uh, Knight of uh, Instant Fledge Catafel, which is the, uh, the grade two cyclist for Royal Pellet. I agree that it's not fantastic, but I think it is at least a good enough card to keep in mind. Correct. If you don't have the resources to get the other card. Yes. It is a, it is a good budget choice in a budget deck, <laughs> which we're all about here. That's crazy. So, the star of the show is Blue Sky Knight Altmau uh, paired with Shrouded Divine Knight Goblade. So, you need the original Altmau to use the Goblade. So, for those who don't know, the new stride that, new stride of riders that are coming in the set allow you to stride on your opponent while they're at grade 2 or below it. But you have to have the original grade three name. Why? And also so. never. And you also have Actually, to make sure yeah. that you'll get a marker. This is, you know what? Let's crazy. take a that quick break to go over the most important shit. part of the wait, set. Wait, wait. You feel as though it's done? Why? Why? It was fine when we when your opponent is, like let's say let's say I, I stay at grade two. Mm -hmm. My opponent's at grade three. It was fine. I I could I could I have a fighting chance. Now you're telling me. I'm at grade two. He can still fucking strike. Every clan can do this. Now. So basically, but, 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 it was like wait, 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 but now you don't need Seabreeze. Let me answer. Let me answer. Like, let me answer your question. The reason why they're doing this is to stop all the decks that are currently using their ability the ride to down. ride down. To the oh, oh, just you that grade two just to stall the so game. So the reason they're doing this is because they want the games to be more progressive and move forward instead of stalling. So, so it just but, sounds like it's, 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 it's kind of like like you're putting their strikes that don't want the two games to carry on. To, but then you're you're just carrying on for the strikes. For the sake of the viewers, before we debate about exactly what these cards do and if they're healthy, let's explain exactly what they do. So what they do are what the effect of these cards are. You have they have the original Striders from G, which in this case would be the original grade three. By uh, having this the card, the they marker. have the new strikes have the have the act ability in the main main phase that if you're on the original strike and you have not received an imaginary gift, you can pitch one grade three, perform a generation stride, and then flip a copy of that card face up and gain two of your imaginary gift markers. So for Alt Mile, for instance, it so will be forced for an Excel plan. Like you, you on, so the way the deck, so by doing this, you automatically accelerate the generation break too. Secondly, yeah. the other change: all of these strides given Serata originally had on hit effects. Those effects are now changed to when they attack. So Gavlin, for instance, instead of calling a card when its attack hits, it simply calls a card when it attacks. It goes off whether or not it, yeah. the attack whether hits or not. Whether the attack hits or not, you yeah. get their you get their special effect off yeah the other two minor erratas for the set not a big deal they're not in these images but still important enough to note the old uh triggers that were connected to each strider that would go to soul and give your vanguard plus five are have now been updated with the v stat line of 15k shield and a 10k trigger and when they're damage check, they let you draw a card. Which is a Vanguard uh, Zero yeah. uh, aesthetic. Yes. But you also get the effect heals as well, having the same aesthetics, having 10k yeah. power, 15k shield. Those abilities are when you generation guard, mm -hmm. if you already have another heal trigger in your drop zone, you can bind yeah. both heal triggers to either counter charge one or soul charge to one. To clarify, those effects are not new, but the uh, base is the base the power, base power is updated. Uh, to so, just all about, the, so all the triggers are going to be 10k now. Is These that, specific uh, ones yes. have been updated. The specific counter charger ones are and just the original. The original the 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 to uh, go know. over as a blanket statement because they don't affect too many clans in too much of a specific way. The heal triggers are okay if you're really desperate for extra uh, counter blast your soul. They're nice, but heal guards are going to be so fundamental to decks going forward as you need to survive these powerful. Uh, turn threes thanks to these new history collection strides. The crits are a solid addition to any deck, arguably better in most instances than the premium collection 2019 crits, but not as good as the stride fodder 2020 crits. Correct. So it's it's any it's going to just end up being player preference which ones you end up running because like for example, all of them have their own benefits. benefits like for example, for Genesis, God knows they need counter charge. Mm -hmm. Like we have one good counter charge and it's a generation break counter charge. So having that heal trigger access to allow us to keep rolling yeah. 
It is a godsend. We Another thing to note with these heals is that they, so they don't ask you to bind a card of the same name. They ask you to bind a heal, heal. trigger. So you can play a split of the grade 3 heal guards and these heal triggers. And not and, lose any power. Yeah. So what we're saying is that premium is going to have so much deck build variety. Yeah. Now, let's now back to Royal Paladin. Yeah, we still, we still need to talk about these PGs. Um, no, no, well, no, we're not even there yet. Before we get to the PGs, uh, finishing off with Goblet. Now, the, the reason why I believe Goblet changes the archetype to just the alt mob deck itself is because it gives alt mob back his multi-attack. Having Force 2 or Force 1 in that deck is prevalent because alt mob was originally a three-attack deck. Yes, the numbers got really, really stupidly big. But again, if your opponent can live through three attacks, you weren't really doing anything. But now that you can go four, five, maybe even six attacks deep, is that if they live to it, they're not going to have much hand to do anything on the clap back. More of a blaster feel. Exactly. That's the reason why this changes Alt Mile deck. To, for me personally, Alt Mile has shot up from being a tier, low tier two, high tier three to almost a tier one deck. Uh, I say like, no, I would, I would say one point five. Yeah, tier one is a bit much. There will be some very powerful decks with the support we talked about today, but it's definitely very potent with its ability to gain force markers and just beat face. And not to mention that this is the most significant thing. When you when it comes back to your turn after you do that significant turn, you're in generation break two. That means when you go into your crystal luster turn, I understand that crystal luster is not a budget deck, but we, we spoke about this in other videos. Once you build the deck and then you rebuild your budget, then you can go buy the card that you need to, to increase your deck power. So once you go into Crystal Luster, you're already into Generation Break 3, which means for every attack going forward, they have to guard the attack with three or, with three or more cards. Not to mention you're getting that multi-attack access back. Okay. Um, uh, there is, other than the generic reprints, we have one more Royal Paladin card to go over. That is the Brave PG, I believe. So the reason why... Well, I okay. mean, two of the PGs got our game reprinted. Well, so Royal the Paladin. one, the Holy Knight Guardian, that's the, uh, one before the, right before the drop PG. That's the counter charger PG. Which, if you have, that doesn't really mean... If it. you have another copy in the same name in the drop zone, you counter charge. Simple effect. They're fine. Some are more valuable than others. They're just generally a yeah. good thing to have. And all Marvel really doesn't want uh, counterpunch in the main phase. He'd rather have it in the battle phase where he can immediately shut it back down. Uh, for those who don't know what I'm talking about, I did do a deck profile, so we will tag it somewhere in, in the description down below of this video. But this has been an ongoing discussion in a lot of Reddit, so why this card has been put into this set. And no one can really answer the question. I know the reason why. This card works like a overdress PG and allows you to soul charge when you do that effect. Mm -hmm. so, so you don't have to discard, right? Exactly. So it allows you, actually, allows you yeah, to soul blast so you don't have to do the effect. So, so at least it does what something. So, he's talking about the over, so the, all the overdress PGs print in the main sets that say if you have two or less cards in hand, you don't have to discard. Oh, right, right, right. And yeah, this card says, and this card says if you're in the brave state for all my list, three or less, you can use it without discarding. All you have to do is still bless the card. Oh, okay. And it counts itself as a PG. Not cool. to mention, it also it also gains, I believe, 10 or 15k shield on the card itself. Yeah, so if you don't want to discard, you can also just guard with it. Just guard with it. All right. That's um, nice. It is very nice. That's Royal Paladin. Any closing thoughts? Uh, I would personally, I understand why they put the counter charger PG because they're the iconic original PG. Well, stuff. every claim gets their counter charger PG. Well, no, I know. I'm just saying, I understand why. But yeah. for me personally, I would rather have the other Brave PG. The one mm -hmm. at, at the end, when it's called out, yeah. at the end of the turn, if you were in Brace it, it bounces back to the The Angel, hand. right? Yes, the Angel. All right. It bounces back to because it's um, a grade two and B that allows you to search your deck for grade ones. Uh, I call them out mm -hmm. to board. So, uh, I'm just glad that they're going to call it more fucking a forehead i mean yeah i it's affordable except for the very it, small it, part of where Luster. your best stride is listen, one of listen, the most expensive in the game listen, Chris yeah. Dosta, from the perspective of a dude who barely ever like today That's i finally played my first premium game That's after like seven yeah. years of not playing vanguard I, mean, oh. I i can appreciate that they're staying true to royal paladin being oh wait what do i do wait i can just fight forehead and yeah. then you just fight and I'm glad to the, true yeah. to that. In regards to the financial value for these reprints, it's unfortunately, unfortunately mediocre. The only big uh, reprint is Aerial Divine Night Alt if you're looking for value. Um, but in general, I'd say a solid bunch. So it's a so if you weren't giving it a tier letter, I would say it's a solid A. Alright. So I'd go with a B, but fair enough. Next up is yeah, next up is OTT. 
That's uh, so that's a few people in her. Yeah, I, I know OTT well as well. I know OTT I a little bit as OTT well. Back, back. All right, all right. A bunch OTT of put me in debt. Opinions like assholes. Everyone here has one. Mm. Yeah. And that's why we were doing this. All right, we all let's start with everybody. Let's start with, so, let's start not, with this plane shot. Oh my god. Not a bad opinion. Guys, we have to go through these 23 more times. Let's pick it up. Listen, <laughs> if anyone's going to listen to us talk about OTTs, they might as well be here, damn it. So, but it's not just going to be here. Well, it's going to be that. They have to put up with this. Subscribe, <laughs> like, because no I'm not going to be watch. on No one's going to watch. <laughs> so, right, no one is going to watch it. So, no one's going to watch it. Right, so I'm, I'm the head of this channel, so we're going, let's, let's get focused here. <laughs> We're gonna start with the uh, G Guardian. This is a very, this is one of the most used G Guardians yes. in OTT. So I'm happy to see her back. Yeah. Son of Eternity, <laughs> Amity Rasu. Stop laughing. Shut up. No, I'm happy to see her back. Son of Eternity, Amity Rasu. She is a very good uh, card in OTT. She allows you to check the top card of your deck in your opponent's battle phase. Yes. Which means you can set up a damage trigger. And if you do not want that card, she gives you extra soul on top of being a very easy to fulfill plus 10k to the shield. Uh, she was already a butchered option, but as such a powerful G guard, more accessibility is always better. And yeah. also, the cool thing about this G guard in particular is because of the new G guard that we got uh, during the last premium collection, you can actually use her skill. Look at the, what the top card is. Keep it at the top. Then, if you have another heal in your hand, you can G guard again. Call out the newest G guard. Call out the grade of the top card and guarantee to get extra shield from the new G guard as well. Absolutely. Next up is uh, uh, Sun and the Moon combo. Uh, v Shikiomi. Uh, just like Alt Mile, this is this uh, clan's VR reprint, and it takes an archetype that you used to have a bit of cost to it and makes it very affordable. The rest of the Shikiomi cards are very cheap. This used to be the only expensive one, and now that it's been reprinting, it is a solid budget deck. And it is fan fucking tastic. Let's just say that right now. I'm yeah. sure of the all the OTT cards, this is the one that one, honestly needed the one reprint of the most. A lot of the reprint. reprints in this set come at common rarity. You see that white background? Normal in the original printing it came with a hollow foil. Now it doesn't. You, you're just getting a card with a white background. It will look unfinished. It's gonna well, look super weird. But well, let's be honest. The price we can, we can we deal. We don't with care. It. All right. Next up is Son of Eternity Amorasu. I will speak on this one. Or Goddess of the Sun Amorasu. You are obsessed with that. Oh, you, you have not no. just so no. 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 Wait, 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 wait. Time, time. You have no, no idea. idea. I will before he even goes off. He made a budget. V series deck for this. That's and, great. I can win on oh. turn two with this card. I made it turn two. two. You're the deck profile on this. I, I do cool. not need it. Until one of you brings back the burger. skating trigger, can we keep this going? Okay. okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. And if you guys have, a, if you guys have been wondering what this little thing has been running throughout the camera, this is my new cat Finner. <laughs> Yeah, he's, 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 he's the unofficial channel mascot. Oh, oh, oh. Just so you know, wait, wait, wait. he had to fight Kratos to get this cat. <laughs> Nickname barbecue bacon so burger. All of... <laughs> <laughs> You're so stupid. Go ahead, Roy. Go ahead, Roy. Um, so are all of these reprints uh, connected to V? No. no, no. They do not change the legality of a card. So some of these reprints are useful for the V format. But an original G or original series card being reprinted in this format does not make it legal for V. Right. I'm I'm, I'm asking that because um, V is yeah. being talked about a lot. Yeah. So when this set was advertised, it was advertised as both a P and a V product. Uh, a large majority of the focus of the set is definitely on premium. All of the eroded cards are premium only. Three of the four guaranteed like set reprint slots for each clans are premium only. But a lot of the variable reprints, a lot of the high value reprints, are V era cards. Okay. Like the only really new thing for the V era in this set is the starters. Everything yes. else is like reprints that From are G. for like half of it is G, half of it is V. But most of the cards that are being yeah. printed are really good in premium so for and a, good in V. From a gameplay discussion, V is nearly unchanged unless you're playing one of the very few decks that cares about the new starters. Premium is very changed. For reprint wise, V definitely has the better reprints. Most of the good premium reprints here are almost preprints of putting out extra copies of these cards with new demand, such as the Eroded Striders, as you can use the old prints, uh, the, the Eroded Strides, I mean, mm -hmm. the Striders, such as Alt Mile and Susano. They previously didn't hold a price tag, but if not gotten a reprint, they likely would have. These stride fodders as well, as they can guarantee, if you only play one of the old strider for you your really, combo, you can, you can really search, search for it, it. So, again, these are reprints that are nice, but until the set didn't necessarily have any value. 
So the bulk of the reprints that we're really concerned about are an RV. Okay. In regards to what this means for the format, no idea. Can gotcha. we establish like what the box is going to consist of? We um oh like, that's right. You get three cards per pack. Oh. Why are you smiling at me? Because, you gotta smell my thumb. Because, Joe, would you like to tell me how many cards come in the case? Uh, case or box? Come in a box? Yeah, come in a box. I believe no, no. you get... No, in well, the entire, entire set. No, well, no. in the entire set. Um, So let's see here. On top of a few extra cray elementals, each clan gets 14 cards. How many cards in total is So for, let's do some math. How many cards in total is Well, do it the math! We're, We're doing, doing the math! math. Yeah. Because don't we already know? No! Oh, no, we actually do. Let me, let me pull it up real quick. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> y'all want to roast me. I was going to do the math. You're still bad math. Exact yeah. set list. You got but a little Caesar. But the reason why you I got a pot with bacon burgers. Uh, I hear a lot of V talk and I see Susano. I used to play Susano. Yeah, Susano was, was one of the. Susano but that's V Susano. Well, no, okay, that's not right, 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 right. That's the right, 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 right. strider for it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and that's where I was getting confused because you guys So, with this one here. Amaratsu. That is V Amaratsu. that's the top. To clarify, this set is officially advertised as P and V Special Series 01 History Collection. Uh, in terms of the amount of cards in the set, there are 340 new cards. 25 of those are triple rares. That is the brand new Harmonix Messiah, which I guess we can get into at the end. Yes, that's fine. Um, and all of the reprinted strides. And how Each many clan has are... 51 double rares. How many are which how is... many those are I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Uh, each, uh, there are 51 double rares, which is the two eroded effect triggers on top of, I believe, the new Hanali effect. Another card we'll get into at the end. No, okay. And then... All of these other reprints you are seeing on the screen for all of these clans are comments. And you are only getting three packs. Yeah, uh, yeah. There are only three packs per box. Three pack cards per pack. I believe ten packs per box. So the the you're not likely to get a card you're looking for when buying this set. So yeah, people were speculating. Sorry to keep cutting you off. No, people were speculating that the set would simply be too big to decrease the price on a lot of desired cards. But the set is already released in Japan, and it is looking like the set will impact the values and make a lot of decks a lot more budget. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, of the 300 and something cards in the entire... Yeah. 340 cards? Of the 340, you're getting less than 10% of all the cards in one box. And, how many and that's only one copy of yeah. each. Uh, there are like, 10, uh, 10 packs in one box. Oh, there's right. 10 packs in one box. So each box has yeah, three cards each, in it. Three, so that's 30 cards a box. Yes. And there's 340. And there's 340 cards. Yes. But how, do we know how many are like by themselves and not just rarity bumps? They're all, they're, it's mixed. So, it's like, mixed. everything yeah. that we're talking about today, though, by themselves. So, yes. but, like, everything that we're talking about today is going to be common rarity. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I believe, like, $30 is kind of the price range. 30 to $40, yeah. but it also yeah. depends yeah. on your retail store. Yeah. yeah. So, so packs are going to be, like, the packs are looking to be a bit under the normal price for an overdress booster. I don't see it selling very well. Like... People chasing after boxes. I'm, 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 I'm doing that. I'm doing You would that. think no. that, but there is one other aspect to this set that uh, I think the last thing we haven't mentioned yet. It doesn't really matter to the discussion today, but for each of the striders, each of the grade threes that you stride on top of, they have a special chase rare alternate art SP of their alternate art in zero. That is why people will buy the product. That is oh, why no, I'm buying no. it because of the mega no, colony. No, one. why no, not? I, why not? This has been okay. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a very general statement into yeah. every single card game. Yeah. I didn't know it started in Magic. Yes. I'm just gonna point this out. It started yes. in Magic. It's happened in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes. And it and now it's happening in Vanguard. We are the selling point of a lot of card products is gonna be coming down to chase cards when it comes to very niche sets, very niche things. Right now. And I, as again, just in general, right now with Yu-Gi-Oh, the chase cards have been CRs. Yes, yes. The yes. chase cards in Magic currently are serial number, which are right now, if I remember before recording, and anybody can call me out on this, there has been bounties put out on Magic serial correct. cards. Correct. This is Number correct. one, the ring, which by my knowledge, it's currently out. The set has a ring serial number that goes for thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. Nobody no, 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 no. Are, Just to clarify, two million. Two, now, the no, now, what the? no, no, no. Now, now, two million. But yeah. the issue is when it first dropped, 
a store got it before the set officially released. No, it didn't. No, the yes. card is still out there. No, no, the card is out there, but it was in a store originally. Originally. Well, they whatever. Got a, they got We're getting sidetracked. The point, getting yeah, this is going the off point. on a really big The point, point. Wait, 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 wait. The gonna... point is that the issue with all these sets right now dropping is that there, there's no real set, real selling point to make a box <laughs> worth it. Other than these chase cards, right. and I, you should elect me president because I will stop the madness. <laughs> the thing, though, here's the thing: we are president, president Crow. Sit your ass wait, down. Wait, 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 wait. He's wait. Like, what are you saying? Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna say this is another topic. There's another topic for another video that we can discuss. This I know. I'm gonna tie it up to tie into this channel. That is all very true, but we are a budget channel. That point. That that people are focusing on these collectible cards means that more cards in the main set will be cheaper. So a lot of these cards should hopefully be affordable. Yes. I mean, most of the ones that people are actually caring about, I mean, like just aside from the strides, are yeah. common yeah. rarity. All right. This Back is to OTT. Set. Back so, to OTT. Yeah. So, Goddess of the Sun, Amara Severa, one of the best, probably the best reprint for the clan. It was not super expensive. I believe hovering on a ten dollar price tag, but it was so vital to nearly any deck you wanted to brew for the clan in V. Especially and because premium. of the most recent stride in OTT yes. that reveals cards on the top of the deck, and exactly. also the fact that you still have access to your copy of Malefico or Calico Malefico. Calico Cap. It can be your starter, yeah. but it's still legal in the format. It's still and you can use it as a rare to card. reveal three Omniraths from the deck. To give your Vanguard plus 30k and plus 3 critical. Right. Yeah. Fantastic reprint. Moving on. I believe this card is named Omniochi of the Moonlit Knight. Was a random promo at the beginning of Viera. Does not matter. It really doesn't. Next up. Diviner Kukuro's... Kazuichi. Uh, Kuro Kazuichi. That Kuro one. Kazuichi. Very solid card. Not very expensive. Good to have for some Susano and Goddess of the Sun focused. That it's is just a good, so we're just gonna It's just a good right target as your grade two. Yeah, in general. Uh, right, the so grade one there. We're, yeah. we're going to go right, right into the grade three uh, to Sunro. Yeah. So, what a lot of the what, what a lot of the decks in the clan collection are going to have to face is that their V variants are way better than their G variant in some cases. That I do not believe that is the issue you will encounter for a lot of these. The issue with Susano, in my opinion is that the Protect Gift in the premium format is far more underpowered than Excel and Force. Mm -hmm. Getting to Protect Gifts, not that great. Getting to Excel or Force Gifts, fantastic. In general, you will likely see us as a whole rating the new Striders and uh, Arrotted Strides for Protect Clans a lot lower than their Force and Excel counterparts, as the gift you get is far worse. You, and Susano's case especially, it's a V version is far the better. Point, that's, that's the point I was going to make. The yeah. V version is much better. Yeah. With a lot of these clans, that's where they're going to have the, the difficulty yeah. of choosing that a lot of their V error yeah. cards are much better. So do you give up on uh, superior striding mm -hmm. or do you want to keep your V Or power? do you try to make a split of both work? You see, I want to actually argue the opposite. I do think that having a protect marker, especially the two in premium is actually extremely important <laughs> simply because of how prevalent really strong strides are that you want a pg <laughs> that is true but premium was a format about more attacks over big attacks i that's get the, that that's why the protect markers i feel are kind of yeah super like undervalued yeah, yeah. because you're you're most of the time you're facing a deck with 11 plus attacks yeah. i get that but at the same time the protect decks in general these are not decks that are known for having draw power yeah. let's knock it uh, i think right, let's we, uh, yeah, yeah. let's go on oh, to the next uh, slide uh just i want to knock some two things quick now the stride for ott we want to bring that up obviously has a set no we have to go over the on hits no no you're fine what what i don't even remember uh, i believe was. it is like auspicious cloud here and something like yeah, that yeah, yeah. it's on hit i believe is look at the top two cards of your deck add one to your hand out of the bottom Pretty mediocre, not worth going into. The remaining reprints here, the uh, Grade 1 Nexus Susano on the left is a mediocre Suki only support card, and then the other three are our staple reprints that every clan gets. Yep. Next up, I believe, should be Shadow Paladin. No, no. it is Angel Feather. Yep. So I will Angel. talk about this. So, for the, for the sake of this, I'm just going to say this right now. You have been talking a whole lot. I can talk a lot. I know. We're gonna, I'm going to let you have this one, but you got to give other people a chance to speak. So No, no, of course. I apologize. Go on this rant for five, ten minutes and. Should we time them? No. Yes, let's time them. Do you actually I want just to? Wanna yes. say, I just no. want to say one thing before Joe starts. Rant. All right, I, got, all right. I just want to say one thing before Joe rants. 
I love the it's fact that we're suck. getting reprints of both versions of Mafia. We're from, getting to Link Joker, okay? We'll be there. We'll, we'll be there soon. We'll get there eventually. Link Joker suck too. Uh, all right. We'll, we'll get there eventually. Oh, we'll, we'll get there we'll eventually. eventually. I took offense. Did I just hear Link Joker suck? We'll get there we're eventually, guys. Right, so let Joe have his hand first. Three, go ahead. And then two, I'm offer you some chips. One, go. go. So, Angel Feather, first off, uh, I would say we have cereal, but we actually do not. The English version of this product has changed a few cards around in regards to the reprints. That includes Surreal. She gets replaced with, let me pull this up real quick. Two hours. Can later. you? <laughs> For if you can't see, they are timing me because they don't want to hear my intelligent opinion. We haven't said that. We haven't said that. That's first of all, you want to talk about it, then validate. <laughs> Continue. The Angel Feather reprint, uh, the G-Guard here reprinted. <laughs> Uh, yeah, instead yeah, yeah. of pa Parshia, uh, instead of Surreal is Parshial. Surreal is the best G-Guard in the clan, you, but it has already had a reprint It's quite budget. Parshial oh, okay. is a solid yeah. G-Guard, uh, gains more shield the more face-down counterblast you have, but was already very accessible, so it's an okay reprint. Uh, to rewind real quick, um, back to OTT for a second, the Amonarasu G-Guard did not receive a reprint. That is another change in this set. Oh, okay. We are instead getting a reprint of the Lozenge Magus G-Guard. It is worse by a lot. It's okay to play as a one of but nothing to write home about. Back to Angel Feather. I mean, most OTT that's aren't even playing it now. Exactly. We have both forms of Malkuth Malik, uh, the original fantastic reprint. Now, I have a question. Does, yes. this, does this now make Mega Genetic uh, Malk? Does this, does this make him a budget deck now? <laughs> it makes it more budget. It makes it more budget, but unfortunately, some of your best support cards in the form of Amputation Angel and Sectio Angel are still not very budget. So while the deck is a lot closer to being budget, it is not there just yet. Okay. Uh, but in general, fantastic cards. One of the better strategies for the clan. Um, it's great. Everything about Angel Feather is great. It's my favorite. Uh, next up is Black Dream Zabanya. Oh, be careful. Uh, Black Dream Zabanya is, uh, if you've heard of this term, the Glimmer Clone. When you place her on GB1, if you have a Gavriel Vanguard, she does an effect. Her effect is special in that it lets you put any card from your hand in the damage zone and take a card out. Note, that doesn't say unit, meaning you can place the protect marker you get from your stride in the damage zone, and it immediately disappears. This card is very powerful in combination with either the V-Series Gavrail or the original Gavrail plus the stride. Next up is Black Bomber Malik. Um, this is a grade one. When it's called out, uh, you get the ability to rescue whatever it attacks or boosts. Solid card, but a bit outdated. There are worlds where it's playable, but at the end of the day, it's not super important. Next up is Black Mixer Hineal. If you wanted to play Geese, this is the reprint for you. However, if you were playing Geese, you probably weren't concerned about budget. Um, so that's really that. Uh, next up, the main last card to talk about is the reprint of the original Grade 3 Gavrail, and in turn, the new Stride. Now, Gavrail has a lot of potential. While she's a Protect deck, she can use those protectives, unlike other clans, to not simply perfect guard attacks, but heal. This is a very powerful thing to do in the format that no other clans can do. The clan also, once you hit GB1, you also have access to some multi-attack abilities, uh, including with the stride itself that says when it hits, go ahead and call a card out from your damage zone, letting you just like with Royal Paladin, multi-attack. Mm -hmm. So you can either go for Protect 2 to make those multi-attacks just a bit bigger, or protect one to do some healing. Um, in general, Angel Feathers were far from the best clan in premium before this. I don't think this new stuff fixes that, but it definitely helps. So if you had to give it a letter, a letter grade, what would you give it? Um, yeah. In terms of... <laughs> yeah, axe. Now, as much as I want to be mad here, these reprints aren't fantastic. The big one's Malkuth Melek, but unlike with the case of All Vile, its main deck is still not budget. The main reprints here are Malkuth, which deck still is a budget, Hineal, which is a reprint for a already absurdly expensive deck, and Gabrielle herself, which, while a nice reprint, this is her fourth printing. So kind of not that necessary to make the card accessible. Mm -hmm. So in terms of the reprints... Uh, Question? Why is this her fourth printing? I have no... Oh, white, She got white, reprinted in the Jack? Revival Collection. Why she got Jack? reprinted in GBT-13 with an alternate art, then again in the English Exclusive Revival Collection, then again here. 
So in regards to the playability, quite solid. I can see the, the uh, Gavrail becoming a strong tier two contender, possibly tier 1.5 on the level of Alt Mile. In terms of reprints, kind of underwhelming. Okay. Probably a D, especially with the removal of our best G guard. Okay, so what? So what are we tracking him at in time? And how he he what, went through? Uh, he did all that in five minutes. Okay. So Hell yeah! Put it there. What? He, what is the letter? letter. What is the letter? No, D. D. He said D. For, D. No, for reprints, for reprint score, D. For meta viability, I'd say a tier two one point five. Okay. Which one is that? That was mine. That's, That's his. Right. Okay. All right. So we said everything we needed to so, say about angels, right? Yes. That was you had your you had your time in the sunshine. Yeah, I'll let, shut up. Okay. All right, time for the shout. That was really good. So we're gonna go with Shadow right. Paladin. Uh, our Shadow Paladin right. player is Cedric, so we're gonna, we're gonna take this one. All right, so I'm slightly a little bit because um I thought we we're gonna get Jira Lord. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, no. Cry so about it. No. <laughs> no. We y'all not get G until the structure deck one comes out. Yeah, you get a Lord in D series. Stop why. I know we're gonna get. G era lore. Leave it. Leave it. Well, technically, you are getting the G era one, just not now. In no. D format. No, I thought I was going to get for a viral collection. No, but stop it. Stop. Stop. I'm sorry. Out of all this, I'm pissed off that you're getting dagged, though, okay? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's, let's, let's talk about the actual cards themselves, right. though. So, um, why are you having me? You're the issue. Not me. The finish talking. Go, go, so, go, um, D really. series lore basically says, um, you Carol Blast 3, take two normal <laughs> units, put it to the bottom of your deck. Superior by the V series drag driver, but for every grade one you have, you can reduce the counter blast. So if you have at least three, you can make it free. So much different. And then also, uh, we tie it to grade ones. We'll tie it to rear guard. Uh, we'll tie one towards rear guard. And draw a card. Yeah, that's it. And they both of them are getting reprinted here. So both you get you get drag card and drag driver. So my question for you is, what do you think about clearance sort in the set? Is it? Is it meta viable or is it just um, budget or is it just unnecessary? Clarence Sword? Yeah, Clarence Sword is the I, so, one so that we I never really mentioned. played Clarence Sword, but Clarence Sword, from what I saw back during the G era, Clarence Sword was actually good. You want to chime in on it? He was okay. Uh, he was okay. Clarence Sword was. Why are you really looking at me like that? Like, do I think it, is Clarence Sword going to be like meta in, in this, like yeah. now? No. I well, think it depends on how you how you build it. No, really. No, it, it, it doesn't even matter how you build it. So we, because we, there's other there's other decks that are way better than Claret Sword. The issue with Claret, yeah, like he. Just what said. does Claret Sword do that Loire doesn't? So, well, Claret Sword. Well, this one in particular. Claret Sword two four. He sword. has a sword. So does Loire. Loire needs three. So Claret, exactly. Wait, that's what I'm saying. So, is that wait, you can get faster okay. four right. sword. So Claret Sword and Loire both focus around the gray one aspect. Right, Lua just does it better, better than Clarence. But uh, but also because Lua has more recycling than than Clarence. Or. Yes. Clarence so, basically yeah. says, "Hey, I can check my top. I have a great one, like one or two. Hit something, gain a little extra power, and so, then, you know, call it you're one." You're not really giving Clarence much of a great argument. Well, they, they, just like I said, I'm not saying it's Clarence bad. Sword is not is not going to be a valuable card. To use in this this upcoming format. Now, see, I, right. I'm doing this really. I'm not, I'm saying, I have nothing against Clarence right. Sword. I'm just. Lord, 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 Lord is better. Lord, 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 Twenty times as, better than Clarence Sword. Lord, Lord is never going to not be bad. Let's be honest. So, Crow, Lord, 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 who was a better? Who was a better than Premium? That's what I'm saying. It's never going to not be bad. So, Crow, what do you guys say? Sorry, I was getting through the depression. I'm getting cut off. Uh, as a person who has played Clarence Sword during that, like all, or at least have. Played around all the eras of Cleric Sword. Mm -hmm. The issue, like all you said, Cleric Sword just tends not to be enough. But it's also, there are two different complete decks because Cleric Sword tends to be more of, I'm going to swing hard versus right. Luar, which turns out to be more of a value engine deck, as I like to say it. Mm -hmm. And it just turns out, like it could have been one or the other, but it just turns out most of the people playing Shadow Paladin, choosing between those two, tend to like the value engine of Luar more. Which tends to decrease the value of Claret Sword. Yeah. Claret Sword is not a bad deck, so if anyone wants to go psycho on Claret Sword, they can go, they can have fun, yeah. but you gotta remember that Luar tends to be the choice that most people make when they're on that split road. Right. And that's a valid point. Yeah. You gotta look at it that way, where the multi attacks in most decks, you want the value. Mm -hmm. You don't, like, you don't gain much value if you're hitting heavy. Argument. Most of the time. Argument. We're all Vanguard players. We're all psychos. 
I, I mean, he's not wrong. Like, like, bro, I, I literally played Glendales for most of my life, and I'm, I can say with 100% certainty, I had no business being in the shop. That's a, that's um, a fact. That's a this fact. Man two, and this that's man a fact. and that man have all seen me do that. That's a fact. Two, two ads for remaining up points of Shadow Pound, because I think we said most of what we said. The stride special effect to go with the cleric sword is um on hit. Obviously not on hit. Called Great Winner Lower. And most of these reprints, other than the Lord cards, aren't super valuable. Except for the big one to note for this channel is the uh, Grade 1 next to Dogda in the top row. I do not recall its name. but it is, I know the witch. It's a, uh, no, I believe it is actually Claret Sword Support. And is one of the most powerful cards for Vera Claret Sword. And with its reprint, you can probably now play Vera Claret Sword as a budget deck. All right. True. True. Uh, I think that's it. For I think for shut up. So, so there's there's some upsides to it, but nothing really to write home about. Yeah. Next is gold. the water reprints are good. Clarence budget will, now. I will hone in on this because I'm. I'm it's time I'm, to talk I'm about the shiny ones, everyone. It's time to talk about the shiny ones. I know the there's some part anyone. Yes, I, 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 thought, I was almost about to kill you because I thought you thought it was Genesis, but you play golds no, too. Gold. I'll take golds, but the the thing about this that irks me the most is that I have PBSD <laughs> from from two Tell years ago. That's old jump scare. <laughs> yes. So, for those who don't know, back in the Ezo meta, like everyone's playing fucking Ezo, and I, I was in seat C. Every game was Ezo. <laughs> Every motherfucking game was Rider. <laughs> and so, they reprint both two of them inside of this. Exactly. So, my opinion for what? Is, what are the reprints for this? It's uh, Platinum Ezo and Ezo um, Scissors. Yeah. Two so, player. from my opinion, of did this, I expect anything? My opinion for this is that these are two very good choice picks. Uh. Only because they do support the Ezel right up very well, I would have rather them support Blonde Ezel as a as a jump off point for this, and choose either or Platina or Cinders well, to compare with that. Technically, they they did bring the Ez Blonde Ezel back, but it's just going to be in D format. Which is, which is, and that Ezel isn't as powerful in V series, unfortunately. That's the problem. Neither of these Ezels do a good job at making the deck budget, as you need. The original Ezel, which as of recording is lowest listed at fifteen dollars, and that's the problem because you need the original Blunt Ezel to okay. add a jumping off point to set these cards in motion. Understandable, okay. but let's be serious here. <laughs> Nothing for Gold Paladin is ever going to be cheap. Let, I'm sorry, I can skew that Garmore. Garmore. Who plays Garmore? I do, motherfucker. It's, it's good. You still play Garmore to this day? Yes. Yeah. He still has the a deck. The deck is right over there. Don't test him. Don't back test him. Era, and I this will, is a budget and building I network, work, my brother. I will rock you with Garmore. You don't do it. You back in G era, I built original Garmore Pelinor for maybe $20. He just wants to leave right now. I don't know why y'all are yelling at him. All right. Well, <laughs> he didn't no, want no, no, no. Let's no, talk about no, the no, other reprints. So the other reprints in this deck are... Wow. I would say a Ezel Grade 2 support card, which I really don't think yeah, is needed for this card. Uh, no, no, that is an old Gurgowitz That's old Gurgowitz. Yeah, yeah, that card has been yeah. reprinted to the shut fucking ground. Yeah, yeah. I've seen so many copies of this card, so to me, that's not really needed. Yeah. Uh, they could have supported uh, Slaney Flare, the Grade 1 <laughs> Slaney Flare, which gives you a bit of more defensive support <laughs> yeah. in Gurgit. Because of uh, having Gurgit's ability to send a card from your rear guard to the Guardian Circle, Slaney Flare gains shield value for doing that. Uh, what's that? Uh, great <laughs> two pro. Uh, that is uh, what, what is his I'll name? I had him pulled up before. What the uh, great two? Yes, it's not. Is that a pro? This is not a pro. It's not a pro. Perrymore. It's Perrymore. Perrymore. It's Perrymore. Perrymore. Find it a card. Would, not I would expensive have rather. Honestly, I would rather than have, have Puil. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Because Puil was the original. Um, Amber Cone, For those who don't know, it was the original G River cards that when they are boosted, they come about and do something that it's. Clan Pacific for this state, Paramore will allow you to check the top three cards in Superior Call of Cards. Did you just say Clan Pacific? I am dyslexic. I have a <laughs> Leave me alone. Yo, do you, you don't know about the Clan Specific? <laughs> but I would, rather, I would rather have Paramore in that slot because it allows you to multi attack and progresses the strategy. Well, you mean Quill? Quill, sorry. Yeah. Quill, sorry. The Quill yeah. because it allows you to increase your attack threshold mm -hmm. in the battle phase, like Mox yeah. slash Dragon does. Mm -hmm. uh, for the grade 3 reprint, Gurgit, it's again, it's a hard toss up between the V Gurgit or this Gurgit. I think this is a deck very That's interested in playing a split. So, Gurgit, so, Gurgit oh. when Strode a lot, when he when you strike on top of Gurgit, you can counter blast one and check the top four cards 
and Shapiro called a like, gold paladin eunuch. Yeah. Is it bad that I like the um, the V version of Dirty Rip better than the original? Not at all. No, 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 that's no, 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 that's valid. That's valid. That's valid, but that is the reason why yeah. most players who are going to be playing Dirt are going to have a yeah. tough choice. Because um, honestly, I can see them bringing two of the original and two of the new ones. You still get the look, but then you get your markers. But the thing with a lot of these new strides, the markers are normally the big draw, but Gold Paladin is known for being able to easily make markers for views of Europe. Okay, yeah, just, just for someone who I'm doesn't play non-premium person playing premium-ish yeah, question okay. here. Mm -hmm. uh, so, if you're playing the original card, you do not get the uh, marker? No, no that's, no, a, that's the reason for the new strides. Not until you strike. Well, not for the reason. Yeah. Uh, the old so cards don't get the marker. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to get jumped out here. So, how the... The new arrival of the first strike go. It specifically has to have the name of the the Vanguard. If you have not received any markers whatsoever at any all during the game so far, you get okay. you get it and you double. So if you're playing like force, yes, what it has with the all battle, you get you two force markers. You, in the effects of Gurt, you get two excels. Okay, but which so is, which in the case of all excel plans is broken because you, your excel twos draw you. Cards. But if you play the original. You will not get the markers. No, no not, not you. Not that, try. that is all I needed to know yeah, because yeah. I I'm not yeah, caught up on premium. The original right. grade three won't give you any markers, right. but the stride with the we'll erratas will give you. I am a new child of premium. Y'all gotta so the, let me understand. Some so stuff. the important part, the important part to take away from this collection is is that for me. The most important cards in this <sighs> entire <sighs> collection <sighs> are the original G stride fighters. Because if you if you're gonna have a tough choice, like for example for gold spikes. Uh, angel feather for some in some okay. cases. Okay. Having that card allows you to play a double split of both cards, <laughs> or a three one split. Three I think will be more common. Or a three one split, or whatever the case may Whatever your ratio is, as a two combo playing, that that, 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 that one out. card allows you to search that specific card out okay. into your hand at grade one. Mm -hmm. uh, just to touch on some last few things for Gold Paladin before I think we're ready to move on. Uh, I don't think we mentioned Slaney Flair G Guard reprint. Fantastic. Oh, one percent. I don't really think so. Is because Slaney Flair has already been reprinted twice. Has it? Yes. Yes. Twice. Yes. Yes. Twice. Has been reprinted that is twice. an interesting number. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. hey, this is revival not enough. collection. No, the the revival other. collection. It got a, a triple rare foil <laughs> version of it. So this is like this is Slaney Flair's third or fourth. In <laughs> oh, it's 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 a secondary reprint. But you're so right. That's my bad. Still a great for card, me, but not personally. valuable. For, for me personally, I know it's still early. Yeah, but it should have been um, Sanctified Dragon. Mm -hmm. All right. So and then lastly, you... Jeffrey, same story. We got Jeffrey. Yeah. Reprint. And lastly, I want to. I think I... which is the stride yeah. effect. The stride effect for Golds is when it attacks. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Call a card from among them. Shuffle the rest in. It gains two. Now then, it's I will progressively shut my mouth for you to talk about Genesis. Thank you. Let them Damn, this Genesis. Is getting no, crazy. because I. <laughs> When I first started playing Vanguard, I started with Alt Mob. My second deck was Spin Rare. Everyone told me those two decks suck ass, and I proved people wrong time and time again. But I still Which, tell by them. the way, now that no, we're talking just, about Fen Rear, our actual Fen Rear here is actually starting to take a nap, which yeah, is great. Yeah. So, for the Hill Guardian, I don't think they should have chose this one. Because, yes, it allows you to Soul Charge four cards. Yes, it allows you to refill your soul, but there are already cards that can do that for you. And this card again has been another card that has been reprinted to the fucking ground. Well, it hasn't been reprinted to the ground, but it's it was never it's a dollar to begin with. It was a exactly. rare. So it didn't, it wasn't a card that everyone needed. Yeah. In <clears throat> in Genesis, there are that, there really aren't that many G guards that are expensive, mm. unfortunately. Yeah. So again, it would have been a good opportunity, opportunity to again I know early reprint uh, Anna Avatar again. Mm -hmm. Just so it has more room to grow and spread. I think this is a fine call, though. While it's not the greatest G guard ever, I think every fine. Genesis deck fits one in their G zone. Correct. Uh, uh, for Himiko. the next card is Himiko. <clears throat> Here you go. Himiko has been the most expensive VR in Genesis. It's only ever been reprinted. It only was ever printed it once. once. Yeah, it never How got reprinted. It I'll bring it up. I know it's gone down due to the fact that all these reprints have been known for that, a good amount of time. That is good. Himiko currently is sitting at a seven dollar price tag, and will likely. How much was it like a month ago? How much was it a month ago? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, what's it looking at? Three hundred dollars. Uh, so but I put it uh, a month ago. It was still high, but if we go back to uh, last summer, about a year ago, before the announcement of the reprint, the card was sitting at over twenty dollars. Damn. And to get a place like that, that means you have to. You had to dish out a hundred. And please Almost tell us what it yeah. does. 
Uh, so, so Himiko's a very simple effect, it. if you want to explain so it. So Himiko's simple effect is that when, during your main phase, you can still block either a critical trigger or a draw trigger. Depending on the grade of your opponent's vanguard, you get to activate that trigger that many times. You also have to pay Soul Blast 5. Yep. And that is a 20 or around the $20 price range. Yes. Was. Was. And, was. and now it is $7. Hey, and uh, we'll likely we'll 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 let you guys we'll know that the, uh, the laptop is starting to die, so I need a charger for this. Should you get your charger with you? We'll go uh, right now. It's like, it's starting to get low, so I just want to plug this in to get more. You'll have to get it dead. We'll have to get you. Yeah, let me just get back up to the point where we were talking about. Oh, I went one too many. Now yep, that we can we, do, we can pop an advertise. This is sponsored by. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, from here. I'm not gonna do that. 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 So, grade 2, 10k body, it says when placed on Vanguard or Vanguard, counter blast 1, so charge 1 card, choose any card in your soul and add it to your hand. Oh, that's actually good, yeah. On rear guard, when it attacks, you can soul blast 1 card, it gains plus 10k for the turn. Mm -hmm. So if you restand it, it's going to swing for 20, then swing for 30 next. Yes. Uh, the second grade 2, again, it's unnecessary, this is, about, this is for the revelation ability, for those who don't know, revelation is when placed in a certain zone, just look at the top card and put it back. The second grade 2... Unnecessary game. Yes, the deck needs. Yes, the claim needs counter charging, but it's not the best one. It should have been claim or Harry. Mm -hmm. It doesn't even counter charge. It only refunds itself. Exactly. They're both fine cards. I wouldn't fault you for playing them, but they're not the best. Now the issue with Finrare is again, it's a split between V Finrare and G Finrare. V is, for my opinion, is superior because it gives you the defensive plays with Bondagonder. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, for the stride. Uh, quick. Uh, on attack. Soul Blast three. Look at the top three cards of your deck, add them on your hand, uh, put the rest at the bottom. It's nice to have a way to Soul Blast on attack, which lets you trigger effects like the OG Fenrir and uh, Lading, but it doesn't actively extend your combos in any way that other cards can't do. And within this plan, you have Marduk, so you really don't care about striding on your opponent. Your opponent's great too, you can do it anyway. All right, Kagero. Anyone play Kagero? Because I don't touch any red clans. I just know too much about this stupid game. Okay, so... No, you, you just have too much we're going information. To, we're going to, we're going to split this up. You get Overlord, you get Soul Dragon, and you get Blade Master. I don't even know what that is. Well, well, I, I, know what, I, I literally, yeah. these two... Okay. Overlord. Yeah. Uh, blade, uh... Sword, or whatever. Blade Master. Blade Master, and I'll take Soul Dragons. Got it. Right, uh, well, I mean, technically not an Overlord card, but for any clan, Denial Griffin, one of the best G-Guards in the game, should always have it. No matter how many times it's been reprinted, great to see more. Dual playset. Yes. Again. Next up, Overlord the Cross. Fantastic <laughs> reprint. Uh, helps make Overlord a bit more budget, but unfortunately, the main card to send off at Overlord the End is still quite pricey. Yeah, they good didn't to see though, it. powerful card. The grade one is a good counter charger. And it, it can also search if you want to. Fine card, wasn't expensive. Blade Master. Uh, Blade Master. It's gonna be funny to see that in the uh, premium when it comes back. How so? Because it's because we're uh, asking you to explain what it does. It well, do I, I was gonna do Overlord, but Blade Master, um, Blade Master, you can retire. It focuses on the Blaze ability, which is if you have more units than your opponent, um, you get more effects. So you can do extra power. You can do draws or whatever. But with the V series Blade Master stuff, that's gonna be fun. Good. No, some of them can search. Something can do more superior calling and all that. Okay. Yeah, so when it comes to
We need more Steel Dragon support. It's, like, less, it's less than mid. Make Steel Dragon's it's, great again. It's lower than mid. Like, without having, not, without, having ac- good mid. without having access yeah. to the full Steel Dragon name, like in Jewel Knights, the deck is not doing anything. Yeah, this reprint is nice, but you There's, still need the two support cards right. that come with it to play the deck anyway, which isn't that the good. Problem yeah, Steel Dragon is a budget deck. Yeah. It is a budget deck, yeah. the problem, the problem, is budget, the problem with that budget is you need the entire roster. Yeah. And this only has one of it. And Listen, it gives I your opponent too many yeah. options. Like, they get you exactly. Exactly. But yeah, uh, but no, but they, unlike old Steel Dragons that which gives your opponent the yeah. options and then they don't choose it, that yeah. nothing happens to them. But for V, either or you get a benefit. Yeah. But they need the entire roster to be great. Moving on. Yeah. So we're doing Lastly, Belog and Kagero, solid reprints for any Kagero deck. The stride is simply on hit, retire something. All, all, right. Right. all my Steel Dragon people, so, please rise up. So now we're talking about Nubatama. Sharon Wee. This is the Dominate. We got Hanzo mm-hmm. and we got Shinuri in this. So yeah. Hanzo, good budget deck. It's not really doing nothing right now in the current meta, even for V right now. It is a solid deck. It's a solid uh, tier two deck, but yeah. again, not really doing much. Sharanwi is going to be a fucking problem in premium. So I'm sorry to say let me this. just point out the fact that they reprinted a promo in this, which I don't know how much the promo was, but I think like when I picked them up uh, like a couple months ago, they're still sitting at like five dollars each. Oh, Toby Tachi? Yeah. The little, uh, yeah. the little ferret dude so that while, literally while just Joe, searches out sheer it's not, It wasn't worth anything anymore. So, okay. Yeah. So the problem for me with this deck is that Dominate back in G was a fucking issue for everyone because they had the ability to use your own cards against you. And now that the threshold, now that the ceiling of card power in premium alone is high due to overdress cards, higher V stat cards, and just all around good cards yeah. in premium alone. This is going to abuse the fuck out of your opponent's deck. It's uh, going to be great. Uh, not to spend too much time, I disagree. Uh, Obero, since you uh, in the, since you have it out in the main phase, you can't force your opponent to easily have anything on board unless you have a specific support card. So you stride into your new stride, dominate the rear guard they don't have, gain the two protect markers, which as we've gone over a mediocre. Uh, the on attack seal for the stride is make them discard one card. It's a solid setup turn, but doesn't really impact your board state, and will, nor does it let you kill your opponent like some of these other decks. Honestly, I think it's just fine, and the deck really won't bother with this option compared to simply using the V Shiranui and V Obero. Which I, I can see your point, but my point is that Shir, Shiranui has always been a long grind deck. That's the, the, longer, the longer the game goes... And the more units your opponent is eventually going to be forced to put yeah. on the board, it gives them more options. I absolutely agree. Yeah. That premium is not a long game format. But again, honestly, really like the worst that this deck is going to do is that it's just going to make it more annoying to try to kill. Oh yeah, player. but the thing is, though, it makes uh, it more annoying. But I don't know if it makes it better. It doesn't make it better. But more uh, protectors are all have always been a long grind deck. Okay, in That's general, fair. okay, and playing to that to that leaning heavy into that grind aspect. This is going to become a problem yeah. in the long so, game. So we can all agree that it's basically going to make it so that Shira Nui is just going to make the grind game more grindier. Yes. Yeah. So, and the other two remaining reprints we didn't go over: solid G guard, solid grade two. Good to have both inexpensive. Nothing much we can really comment on. Oh, I already brought it up in the conversation, but very simple: on attack, discard a card. There you go. Next. All right. Next, we got Tachikazes. And we next, got an Anger Blair reprint, next, which is so next, much. Yeah, no, we have to talk about everything. I want to talk about the Anger Blair we, reprint. Because I, this was a long time we, coming. We I played things. all Tachi. Like, Anger Blair reprint is a long time coming. I'm not a, a Tachi Kaze <laughs> main, but with the <laughs> lack of love that Tachi Kaze actually gets, I'm happy that they gave them Anger Blader here. I'm just mm-hmm. happy we have Anger Blader. <laughs> so we have against uh, Tachi's KB. Because I hurt this man's soul. A, yes, B. Bush Road doesn't even like Kachikaze. They gave him like all their strides in the last revival collection. That did Bush happen. Road does not even like this they, clan to, they, even, to even put right. them in their video game. They that literally gave the clan every single relevant stride. Because they don't want to be in the revival they collection. Okay, they gave, they gave them every uh, reasonable stride they could give the deck, and has the deck ever done anything? No, the point that I'm trying to make is that That's this deck right. is going yeah. to be so cheap to build now yeah, because, because of everything that they get in it. Even though we're all about playing budget and playing budget to win against higher decks. There's a thing called two budget. There's, this is like you said, this is two budget. This is not going to help you at I will, all. I will never be I will never let Bushy Road down when they hit my man Anger Blader to one and then they turn the deck from okay, it's like a decent budget deck that's kind of expensive. You have to go out your way to two get it. Dirt to, shit. to literally it is in my it is right now in my house being used as a cup holder for my gin. 
<laughs> I am not joking about this. I will film myself if I have to and send them a clip to put it online. I will embarrass myself for the point. Who hurt you? So we're gonna move on. Bushy so, road. What Chachi Kaze Strike does is that when it hits you, you retire one of your units and you can call it back. Alright. Literally ability? all the reprints don't do anything. Wait, the deck is still gonna be Does cheap. it have the engorge ability? Yes, it does. The deck's basic. Long story short, the deck's gonna still be cheap. Tachis are not gonna get any love like they should be, so all my Tachi players rise up. Uh, no. unless... Like Slim Shady. Unless, unless we get something significant that right now kind of... I would say... I wouldn't say power creep to say, but I would at least say boost the deck up to at least a point where it's like a decent mid-tier. The deck's not going to be played as much. No. It's literally going to be less, per, one, probably less than 2% of the people already play it. And the main problem with Tachikaze right now is that the fact that they engorge from their deck. They should have engorged, or no, they gauge from their deck. They should have gauged from the drop zone. But even, they do have, I think they do have a card. That no, they, they have one card. They have one card. No, like but two. even then, like yeah. the issue the issue with gauge is that, unlike Grand Blue, okay. When they lose something in the drop, it's gone for good. Yeah. Unless you have that one for your promo. Um, if you do, if, but the it, but the good thing about it is that if you're a person who likes big numbers and randomly stupid strategies, I would personally say Tachi is a good way to play that at a budget yeah. level. Even though, yes, it is dirt cheap. It there there's no reason to play it. There is there is reason. Mm -hmm. There is a con there is a pro yeah. in this, even though a lot of them are outweighed by the cons. It's a very funky deck for very funky players, yeah. for people who want to play around with and stuff. Unlike a lot of these other decks, uh, Chigaya is able to exist as a counterpart to the guy, kind of playing slightly differently, yeah. instead of just being a one or the other. Uh, to wrap up the clan, if that's alright with you guys. No. Um, Anger Blader, fantastic reprint. <laughs> Give me back my Tachis. Too bad. The G Garden Spinal Driver, solid <laughs> reprints. The commons. Uh, the Raid 1, the 0, good but not valuable. And the Stride, I believe, is when it attacks, retire one of your rear guards. I believe it gains 5, and then you kill one of theirs. And yep. I hear you were thinking that we weren't going to be talking about this. Talking All about right, her. next up, Murakumo, I believe. Yes, Murakumo. So, oh, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm the only Murakumo player. Uh, what do you play for Murakumo? Hiyaki, he's right there. I'll go for Hiyaki. Okay. Yeah, he, no, Hiyaki? You mean Hiyuka? I'm just mad that we didn't get any usual support. You still are the weasel. Weasel. Uh, weasel. <laughs> um, <I got. laughs> to start the G guard, that G guard isn't necessary, but one of the cards replaced in the set, I believe, was that card replaced with a Shira Hagina reprint, a card that very much needed a reprint. And not to mention that I believe Shira, to me, my personal, I think Shira Yuki should have got reprinted in this set. Oh, Shira Yuki? Okay, she, she, it would have been nice to see her, but she already had a reprint, so it's not a big deal. And also, but, you know, but correct but me most, if I'm wrong, though. Sorry. This is a weasel starter, though, isn't it? No, no that is stealth fiend. No. Captain, that's a stealth fiend. Oh, yeah. wow. Uh, to go over. That's I'm how go you know they love him. Oh, that's my man. Yeah. Morkuma didn't get a weasel starter. Like of all, the, of, <laughs> I'm I, sorry. Cry really? about it. No, but to be fair, though, of all the starters that you would feel like a Morkuma starter would be, you would think that there would have been a weasel starter. Yeah. Uh, to go over the reprints, if you don't mind me, real quick. So Hugo. With the banning of Noe Dayo, card's kind of dead Not in nothing. formats. Uh, Hyaki, very fun deck. I like it, but wasn't very expensive to begin with. A uh, Spellhound, for some reason, got an alternate art, but is it very good? Uh, the last grade two is a solid promo that, while not expensive, is good to be accessible. Same with the grade one there. Mm -hmm. Now then, Yasui. Yasui has been Yasui has been turning a lot of hits in Japan. I've been keeping up with it. Mm -hmm. It is a solid. Uh, high tier two, low tier one deck. I disagree. I think it will be one of the top decks in the next format. Really? Well, as of right now, in Japan, it's running in that circle mm -hmm. right now. That game, a not yeah. a lot of people play it. Yeah. But b it, it has it has a very high ceiling. To explain what the stride does, because it arguably has one of the best strides for this discussion. Uh, when it attacks, choose one of your rear guards. Call two more copies of it. So that generates you two extra attacks onto your Excel circles. Deck can get seven attacks on turn one, and convert those attacks into card advantage to kill the opponent next turn. Correct. Shadow Stitch. And, yes. and mind you, you're doing all of this while, you're, while your point is at grade two. Very strong deck. Not much to say. All right, so we're going to move on to the next clan. All right, next up, we got... Oh, good. I'd like to puke. We got this. And I'm, I'm just saying... You want me to just get it over with? No, 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 no. Cedric, 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 just get it Cedric over with. Cedric. Cedric. I know it's Cedric. Speed through. Let's go. We don't want to talk about Naruto. All right, breather. What is wrong with that? What is going on? Jesus Christ. 
the judgmentalism the, here is just way too that. overbearing. Whoa. Especially with somebody so who can say, hey, I, I get you got to hit me with eight damage to kill me. It's, it's not that scary as it used to be when it first came out. Anyone can get around it, but it's still good. Battling Saber Dragon, Eradicator, you write, write any now coming on top of it. Call to Rear Guard, you bind something. Um, Sweeten, still good card. Just another draw engine. And it, it builds up so uh, also. You have the, um... He's good for Gauntlet Buster, but that's because he's not very good. No, I said Gauntlet Buster. You I said Bowling Sword, because they're both no, there. No, I said Gauntlet Buster also. Did you? I, my bad. Um, that grade two for Vanquisher, I forgot what the... I forgot the name. Shred or something like that? Yeah, something like that. Does, it, it basically gives... You, it helps with, um, multi-tagging with Vanquisher. Mm -hmm. So it's actually good. It also gives you draw value. The great one for Vanquisher is still good. You bind it, you call it back. That is if you not bite... that. Is that the V version? Yeah. yeah that's the V version. They yeah. look so similar. Yeah, yeah, that's the weird thing about these Narakon reprints. Yeah. The only ones that are actually the G cards are the original Strider, the Strider Fodder, yeah, yeah. the, and the PG. Those are the, yeah. and the G card. And and those are the only the, things that are actually G, G cards. Yeah, that's and that's also, again, what's I'm good about um, that's great one for V series is um. Unless you search for any Vanquisher. Okay. So, uh, I said I'm going to take this for me just so we can speed through it. This deck alone for me, in my personal opinion, is going to be another issue mm -hmm. unless they ban certain cards. It has already no, prematurely been hit. So, no, and the reason for it is I'm because... I'm explain. Oh, you want to do it? In, in, Van in the Vanquisher deck, you are allowed to double strike with the Vanguard and double stride in a single turn. Which means you get to stun burst. You get to rip eight cards into your opponent's buying zone. An additional one card off of... Additional two cards off of Vanquisher's strike skill alone. And then buying another three cards yeah. on top of that when you stride into the uh, history, right. history collection stride. Yeah, you get two strides, two Vanguard swings, and a lot of rear guard attacks. And on, not, on top of that, you're already, you're already accelerating your hand because you yeah. get three Excel markers in a single With full turn. Bronto. Yeah. With full Bronto. One of, even probably even better than Yasui, probably going to be a top three deck next format. Oh, one of them. Absolutely. Um, they need, for me, yeah. they need to strike it on release. Because this, I agree. This is going to be a problem. They either need, yeah. Yeah, either need to kill full Bronto, like they did in Japan, or they need to outright ban Stunburst. Yeah. The stride itself, while a lot of players will not be staying on it to go into Stunburst, if you do, on attack, your opponent chooses one of their rear guards to bind, and you choose up to two cards in their drop zone and bind those as well. Which binds you, which just increases your binding count by another three. So what is that? What are we up to? Like 11 to 14 cards bound oh, yeah. in a single turn. Uh, that is, a, that yeah. is one fifth of your. Well, you can't deck. do this if you stun burst, but it's it, it still means that no matter how you play it, you're gonna get a lot of cards back. Exactly. You uh, know, that's speaking, of, Kami, speaking okay. of top three decks, this is one of my top three most hated decks. I'm just saying. Gotta I agree. I, I, agree. Top not three, agree three most hated. I hate Narakami. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Cedric. I know you love the clan, but I it's it's literally All right, my on. third least All right, favorite. Clan. We're almost does done. Wait, we're wait, almost wait, done, guys. Does it hurt you? So what's the next one? We're ha well, I see we're almost done. We're halfway done. So, no, uh, Nova Grappler. Yeah, we're done with Nova Grapplers. We're on to Nova. So, we're on Nova Grapplers. Wait, so by the way, before I, before we even start this, I just said that our comedy was on top three. This is my number two most hated. So, for, I'm going to get into this because I'm one of, I'm, I think I'm the only Nova player here. Yeah. Uh, for the G-Guarding, a very good choice because not only does it give you power, it also allows you to count the charge. That is the main thing. Beasties. Not doing anything, not even in V. These cards didn't need to be reprinted. No one was asking for these cards. They're not. Do, they're not part of any uh, uh, obscure strategy. They're not doing anything. Now for the Victor cards, yeah. all of these cards, all of the, the two G era cards for Victors, the Gosachi and I think what is this, the. Uh, I don't remember, but he's probably Dude, they all just look like beat him ass but the I don't know the difference. But the reason why I go, these two cards are very important for Victor because Gosachi allows you to do your multi attacking. But the great one is most important because it gives your entire board resist. <clears throat> and as I mentioned, they are extreme battlers. So again, it's that 2 2 slip between the old old Victor and the new Victor, which allows you on Victor Strikes, it allows you to yep. superior call a extreme battler. It could be any one of these cards, which yeah. increases your threshold. This is, I'm sorry, this is an Excel <laughs> deck, which means you're getting more attacks. No grappler is known for restanding, so you're getting more tech than you actually have on the board. That promo there, I unfortunately can't recall what it does, but I believe it is the first time we are getting it in English. Which is good because this this set allows you to get a lot of promo cards that we have not yeah. been receiving. Or received very slowly. A lot of the promos there. Now, uh, if you want to uh, the stride? Yeah. The stride, uh, which is very important to talk about as the stride deck for Victor is very powerful. Uh Kaiser Vic 10, when it attacks. 
Stand one of your rear guards, give a plus five. Fantastic. Which is effect. fantastic because that means you can you can save one of your units stand uh restand ability for a later point yeah. in the game. I mean if you give that to a dose leg, I think that just starts to like yeah. power out of control. I think nowhere. Victor, maybe not one of the top top decks, but there it, it's gonna get very bad. powerful. I'd say a bit worse than Vanquisher, but better than like that alt mile gather out here. Yes. All so right. Next, uh, next clan. Next up, we got DP. Should, should we let Kawan do this? I think we should let Kawan. You, you want to jump in with this Kawan? Well, the only thing is, unfortunately, I know nothing about the set incoming, so I don't be, I don't believe I'll be able to speak on it. However, I will happily look on. Yeah, these are All right. um, bringing in Kwan, taking a break from Destiny. Sure, sure. Um, also barbecue bacon burger. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, this Why is what we got for every guy. If you recognize them, you can talk about them. If oh, not, no. oh well, I'm too bad. So right. sad. Uh, we tried, guys. <laughs> Unfortunately, I only recognize one, two, three, four cards out of the um, out of the set here. Um, these are cards that I use in my deck as well. Unfortunately, though, I can't deny my vast disappointment for what I'm looking at here. Now, the other cards that I know nothing about may be justified here. But Laurel, I don't believe needed a reprint. Die Kaiser definitely didn't. Zeal possibly did because it was an old card, and the PG did not. And I'll tell you this: a card that desperately needed one, which I don't see here. Was there supposed to be a stride here that wasn't? No, that wasn't these are just uh, yeah. the other reprints aside here. We're mm -hmm. guaranteed to get the stride that goes along with our grade yeah. three here from mm -hmm. the original G era here, mm -hmm. the Grand Gallop stride. Um, other than that, that's the only thing here that yeah, the, isn't really shown no, off. No and plants have well. any other stride, so there unfortunately was not the ability to get Jima Glass at this set. Yeah, which is obscenely disappointing for me. Jima Glass is probably one of the more expensive strides of that deck. That deck you can probably build for $100, however that card on its own yeah. makes it close to three. Uh, to wrap up the plan, if you don't mind, could I see the screen again? Yep. Uh, the G-Guard, fine reprint, not expensive, but good card to have. Um, the Great Dayusha reprint, come out of the Great Daikais, the Daikaiser reprint, which is okay. Great Dayusha reprint is fantastic, not necessarily for premium, but for V. Makes the deck far more affordable. Mm -hmm. Uh, Nygman, Blanc, and, uh, Dwayne, fine support cards for Nygman and Zeal, but not expensive. The Grand Gallop stuff, just not good. No, Grand no, Gallop not is, at all. There is a argument that the G of Grand Gallop allows you to get hit higher thresholds. But you don't... How does it feel to know that take is wrong? I don't know. Listen, thresholds are five he hit 400k against exactly. me earlier today. Mm. It, it unfortunately isn't worth it. The stride is a cool effect when it, when you attack with it. If your uh if its power is 37,000 or greater, uh, which isn't hard to do with the force markers no, it no. comes with, uh, you draw a card especially and your opponent chooses one of their warrior force, guards are retiring. Especially because but you're getting two force markers. At the end of the day, really it's easy. just not worth it when you can play the dimensional robo deck and on that same turn... Ride into uh, what is the main grade three's name? I forget. Um, Di well, Di uh, Di Di Kaiser is one of them. The, the one you do turn. The one that I do, Die Liner. Die Liner. Um, that's what I was thinking of. Die Liner. A, a turn three. Counter Blast. Soul Blast. Check top seven. Yeah. If you add a grade three to your hand, guess what? You're getting plus twenty k and a crit. Mm -hmm. Whereas this can only get plus twenty k or a crit. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I uh, and we don't like and D Robos also have far better rear guards, unlike Grand Gallop. Just not really worth considering. Okay. It's like I'd much rather have two Dizorus in Soul. Attack yeah. with quadruple drive while while doing while doing my uh, my turn if I'm mm -hmm. not if I'm not striking. Yeah. All right. So but underwhelming. Also, we're talking about part. Grand Gallop. Like just for V in general, the only card inside here that you would even use in Gre in V Grand Gallop is the Die Kaiser. And yeah. That's maybe about it. Laurel. But Laurel is. G Laurel is very weird. It should have been V Laurel. Laurel should have been Laurel, G Laurel. Isn't G Laurel still limited? Yes, G Laurel is still limited. But For good reason. Yeah. All right. All right. Link Joker. Yes. You have yeah. to rep Link Joker now. Yo, don't you. Link Joker. Tomorrow. Link Joker now for oh, our. AKA our Mr. Sleepyhead back there. Say what y'all want. I'm sorry, you were on camera. Don't stop, my boss. Who cares, right? I don't even care anymore. All right. So, um. <laughs> so I don't think that they should have reprinted the fucking G Guardian. That's that's my opinion because the the card is still cheap without it being a reprint. So which which G Guardian do you think they should have reprinted? Um, which one? Which one? Which one? Flock is Karina, maybe. The no, Flock is Karina already got reprinted. That is the eagle. That is the eagle. That is, the eagle. Oh, oh. That is, that is Destiny Joey. Oh, sure. I guess Destiny Guardian. Yeah. Destiny Guardian. Um, uh, to interject here. 
I'm not to say you're wrong, but the card is currently sitting at twenty dollars. Damn. Now it's sitting at because uh, to explain why it has very good synergy with another card where we put it here, Chaos Breaker. True. Oh, is this all like Chaos Breaker stuff? No. Uh, chaos. Have it's chaos. chaos, chaos the is the leader and Messiah. Where are my Star Vaders? The leader. I'm joking. I'm joking. It's called Chaos. I'm joking. So what is your what is your opinion on the deleter card? Uh, I can't give you an opinion on that. I never played the leaders, so. though. Okay, I, I did play the leaders for a time yeah. being. While this is the better of the two deleters, if I remember correctly, I think this one has to have your opponent be at grade three. I could be wrong on that. Yeah, yeah. Have, I know. I think it's worse. I think you have to ride it over a grade. Three. No, I think yeah, that's so, what it so is. You have yeah. so for this one. I'll just Google I got it. Yeah, so you had the soul blast. Yeah, so yeah, this was back when at the time you had the soul blast grade threes. That was one. The leaders so, are a rogue deck and premium, but there are both stronger and cheaper options for your deleter grade three. Yeah. So if I remember, it's they're gonna instead of that one, they should have given us the other um greater deleter, the one that um the one that was from the trial deck. No, the one no, that was from like set nine. Yeah, or set eight. That, yeah, the yeah, one that was still with us. That, that one's not it. super expensive, still accessible. Yeah. Would you like to continue or? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a question. Actually, yeah. yeah. Right. Next card, next card that's yeah. being reprinted is the Gear or Chaos um, Breaker. Yeah. 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 In my opinion, I think it should have been uh, the Gear. The Gear, one of the Gear ones, the one that when you discard it for a strike, it locks close. Oh, close. Okay. Because it's, it's very premium set, so I think Cloak should have been the other the, the so, Chaos Breaker well, or reprint. I think um, Chaos Breaker is uh, is still like high. Yeah, you have to ride from the Great Three. Right from grade three, mistaken, there we go. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I'm checking for you. I think I already did. the V no, Chaos Breaker no. is yeah. like still high. It's price. still twelve dollars. While See. the card you mentioned is worth more, it is a fringe playable in the deck. It could use the reprint, but while the Chaos Breaker is worth less, it is a far more important card to see. Budget wise, budget wise, budget wise. But yeah, is that is that not the case for Vocal Gold? Because why would what what? What's the point of having Vocal Gold? I understand it's a very powerful card and a good staple yeah. for the Messiah yeah. engine, but they could have gave the VR Chaos Breaker and Close. They could have. They could have, but they didn't. Uh, I, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, because Close hasn't been reprinted yet. Ever. Right? Ever. Yeah. Ever. Right. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah. Because so, in other words, well, I think we can all agree I mean, on you that. You mentioned There's instead of Vocal, but Vocal is a fantastic There could have been a lot of other things they could have reprinted instead yeah. of what they gave us. Exactly. Exactly. Vocal was the cornerstone of any premium oh. Messiah deck. Mm -hmm. So very good to see. Plus, um, plus, nobody was, was giving like one or the other. Not like yeah, that. right. So, what is your opinion on? We're not gonna go over the grade two or the grade ones, but what is your opinion on yeah. the Messiah? Uh, it's alter, right? Alter ego. Yeah, yeah. Alter, yeah. Ego. Messiah. alter ego. Yeah. Um, do you think? Do you think it's better than the VR version of the deck? Or I, I don't know. What, um, I haven't played anybody against it. Do you? I have actually experimented with the alter ego. Um. It's kind of rough because the thing with the alter ego, with original alter ego and the stride judgment messiah, which I believe when it hits or when it attacks in this case, you lock one of both players' rear guards. Right. Uh, the alter ego is great at getting out Volko. You cannot do that with the old stuff. Mm -hmm. And while you have some other support cards to help get out Volko, it, it, you're kind of stuck relying on those. You could maybe play the one off with the stride fodders, but it might not even be worth it because. The on stride skill is solid and mm -hmm. it lets you lock both players' rear guards, but early on they won't have much to lock. Drawing cards is cool, and since it's GV2, you can do it right away, but Messiah isn't as a defensive of a deck as it used to be. It really wants to keep locking and unlocking its rear to get massive attack chains. And while you can't really do that early either way, um, I think Ultra Ego is better and more consistent turn. The old one definitely has a higher ceiling, as with the GB1 effects. You can really combo off with those force markers, but a lack of guaranteed access to Volko is really concerning to me. Okay. Uh, for the two and the one, the two's funny. The one, I don't think we ever got in the West before, but they're whatever this cards. This is the promo card that we never got. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, I think that's I think that's basically it for Link Joker. Like, there could be an argument that they could have reprinted um, Harmonix Messiah for V. Of... It's not that good compared to Alter Ego. Yeah, no. Nah. But yeah, no, in conclusion, um, mediocre new support, but three fantastic reprints for the clan. Okay. All right, so next we got the Dark Saints, and we're starting with Spike Brothers, guys. So I can, I can weigh on this because I, I've tested against Spike Brothers a <laughs> lot on Discord. Big thanks to my, my friends over in London. You all know what you do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> We talked extensively on this on Discord, so the problem with Spike Brothers is again, it, it suffers from that same thing. 
do I go V or do I go G? With the V Nova, you get access to the Force 1 and Force 2 markers at the exact same time. You can combo off heavy as soon as you go into grade 3 turn. The grade 3, the G version of Nova does give you some type of benefits, but it's a later investment. That's the issue. So do you rather want to go full turbo in the beginning of the game and, and stall out towards the end? Or do you want to go lackluster in the beginning of the game and know yeah. that you're going to be able to push through to the end? Do you want to be honest with me? Uh, I, I played V Spike Brothers a lot, but my personal thing is I think it's better to go lackluster in the beginning because most of the times, unless you're playing like Gold Paladin against Gold Paladin, any of the Paladins that like to go great to rush, you're mo most of the games are going to be lackluster now because we're in an area in the game where everyone goes ride, swing, ride, swing, ride, swing, hold hand, and then um, I'm going to go off. So you could argue that going fast first is the play, but I think holding your options till the end when they have already exhausted theirs when they hit grade three is kind of the key to play Spike Brothers mm. now. Just to go over some general stuff about no. the, the, the cards... All the reprints are good cards, you know. Fucking Lucifer. Uh, you know, you have some stuff for the uh, some of the more combo strategies, jelly beans for the GB8 deck. Some solid reprints, but nothing fantastic and nothing worth a lot of value. For the Strahd, I want to mention, its effect is one of the best, letting you put a card from your hand into your soul to call any card from your deck. But unlike the rest of these strides, there's a notable name. It just so happens to have Bruce in the name. Which turns on some premium support Ooh. with the air cards. True, true. Because a lot of cards act. Yeah. A lot of uh, a lot of dark six boost cards act for yeah. boost in name. So yeah. that gives in you general, access. Spike Brothers, from what I've seen, has been one of the hardest clans for the player base as a whole to test and f solve. And Japan isn't as interested in it as we are in the West. So frankly, I don't think we know what's correct with That's this plan. That's a cultural here. difference because mm. let's be honest. Here. Whenever I play Spike Brothers, and I swear to God. I have named every single Spike Brothers deck on the deck box on everything, yeah. and I have called it the Super Bowl. Yeah. So I don't think a dude who's in Japan is going to look yeah. at this deck and be like, Super Bowl? Super no. Bowl is. Ooh, I'm going to play Bruce, and I'm going to swing and yeah. re-stand the rear guard. There is so so very solid totally support fun. ways. Yeah, I can take that. Uh, yeah. He, he <laughs> taught me all this, I swear very, to God. Very solid wow. support <laughs> ways, but on... I'm going to if it would be better than the existing options. Yeah. All I want to say about yeah. Spike Brothers is that I wish they had a different starter that was getting reprinted. Yeah. Yeah. Or just like an actual like archetypal starter that wasn't just the freaking... Like a Dudley starter would have been cool. Yeah, yeah. I would have preferred. Right, so next, next up should be DI. Yep, DI. And... All right, so since I'm the, I am the only, again, the only DI, what the? one of the only DI players here, but I play it more heavily than you do. If it's not No Man's King, no one cares. I it's in here. I, I know Shara up there. Hey, I mean, Lo No Life King is actually going to be prison. What the f- What are you talking about? He's right there! Listen, for anyone wondering, these nothing. guys are going to beat the entire video, and we're all just going to watch so, this entertainment. We're gonna, gonna, we are going to go rushing through this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Heal Guardian. Great choice, but it, they could have chosen... Uh... A lot of them. A lot of them. A lot of them. Could DI has a lot of good, G guards, and none of them are that cheap. Exactly. Uh, NLK. Only reason why this is good because NLK has been a thorn in a DI I player's asses. Only because, not because it's a good deck. Not because it's a bad deck, because it's the only deck. It's a very good deck, honestly. Quite powerful right now. And it holds a higher price threshold. Yeah. But now since we're getting a common version of the card with a brand new art, by the way. Yes. It makes it makes the deck easier for budget players to get into. Another fantastic reprint. Uh, what is the next card? Gostil. Gostil is a very good budget deck, but the problem with Gostil is that you need to know how to play and build the deck. Agreed. We will have that deck on channel is very, very soon. I have no, 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 no regulation. Yeah. I have to give a shout out to my boy KJ over there in London. He is a major DI main, and he solved this deck. Castile? So he solved Castile. So I will have his deck list online on online soon. The other grade three, uh, Abominable and Gilderay. That card didn't need to be printed. Like, it's a cool card. You're reading, you go, oh, that's good. And then you play DI, and you're like, I don't want this. I would, like, rather, I, know early, I would rather have the Succubus in her yeah. actual art. I mean, I know, like, early that versions of V. Shahara was playing this card. But it I was know cut he, once. That's what I was going to say. I don't know if they even played this card He anymore. was cut for a number of terrorists. People did more casting. Um, I would rather have mm -hmm. uh, the grade 2 Succubus, the V. version. With the new art. With because the new they art. Misprinted it. They misprinted it. Yeah. 
Uh, Dimension song, Creeper, yeah. Assassin, great choice. Yeah. Those have been staples for DI for years. Yeah. Now we're going to go into the Share Hot stuff. Unfortunately, Share Hot is a good deck on paper, but it's not really doing things. The Darkest Strategy has been exhausting, in my opinion. Agreed. Um, the Stride, I believe, um... It's on hit Soul Charge 1. No, it is not that bad. It is not that bad. I don't think it's a Soul Charge 1. It is, it is on hit Soul Charge 2, 6 or more soul, which you will always have to draw a card. That's what I was going to say. It's simply... I knew there was a draw yeah. somewhere in that. The like, Gunning GB lets you accelerate your soul very quickly and set up some powerful rear guards with Guard Restrict, but DI as a clan really relies on its Vanguard to do the extra push, and... Charot, nor the stride, do that push, nor do protect gifts. And the problem, so, and, the, and the overall problem yeah. with DI is that because we lost, got the, the, the stride got still. Yeah. DI, <clears throat> DI has a lacking and very strong yeah. stride. Using the um, yeah, using the original Charot will help you set up for a great turn four, in that it'll give you a lot of defenses, soul, and card draw. But at the end of the day, Theo's already pretty good at setting up the turn it wants to kill your opponent. Great three. Yeah. Uh, the other two reprints we need to go over, Dimension Creeper and Ignatic Assassin. Fantastic cards, but Creeper's been reprinted and Assassin's at one, so you don't need that many. Correct. And now, if they were reprinting Assassin as a triple rare, that would have that would have been a chef's chance kiss. Start. Chef's kiss. But moving uh, on to moving Sweet on. Pale Moon. Yeah, we got Pale Moon. And okay, I can speak on this one. I, I can also speak on this as I well. Play I play a lot of experiments with Pale Moon as well. In Japan who play here. I can speak on every clan in this game. <clears> I have but, no life. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna go right into Harry because we already have the Nightmare Doll. The Nightmare Doll deck hasn't really changed at all. We can just say straight up that all of these Nightmare Doll real friends that are in here are, are just good. Same with original Lukey yeah. Solid playable yeah. and Silver Thorn. Good to see. G Guard fine. Let's right. talk about the new cards. So, yeah. when it comes with G Harry, it gives a new light to the Harry deck so that you no longer have to play the stage mechanic. Mm -hmm. And so you don't play the Monkey Dolls, you don't play the stage, you get to play the deck like it was. Dragon, the Bird, you don't play none of that. You can go back to playing original Harry yeah. with increased uh, speed in the deck, mm -hmm. which gives you back to your your multi attacking, your uh, aggressiveness, your GGs are on while your opponents at grade two. You're just going ham. And also, the great thing about these Harry reprints is that we just got the Harry premium deck with the Nivros deck as well. Which it gives you a very good, good CCG. Very good, very good block well, starting to win Harry. Deck. Yes. Yeah. So uh, you basically get all the staples that you need to start building yeah, yeah. Harry. And then this right here gives you all the other missing yeah, things that you would potentially I'd want. I'd say very solid deck. deck in that tier 1.5 area with very Old Nile and Gavriel. Very much so. Uh, what is the stride effect? Uh, the stride effect... Ooh, that's a hard one. Uh, let me. I'm. I'm gonna have to pull that one up. I apologize. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it was a really long time ago. I think it's on hit. Move a rear guard to your soul and call out another rear. Call out like. I feel like it's right. something like that. Here, I have it pulled up already. Uh, it, it won't take any time at all. No, no, no. You're good. Okay. Okay. Uh, it is a uh, Clifford choose on hit. Point. Choose no. Even simpler than that. Choose a great tour less card from your soul. Call it to rear. Well, perfect. So simple, now, so like, easy. Yeah. The, ma the major question about that, is Clifford a big red dog? <laughs> no. uh, Let me tell you something. He might be, he but he is a mafia, so that does hurt. <laughs> no, uh, like, yeah. He is a I big red dog, important... because if you really think about it, he is the color of part of the American flag. It's 130 red, next. Black, blue. No, he is like, red, so therefore he's American. Shut the fuck up, dude. Stop. 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 Shut the fuck up, dude. All right. All right well, I think the most important thing about that is I think both of the great two magias that are from the V area just have an effect of if they're called out by your hairy effect. Yeah. And since, you know, hard cards are sharing the name of your stride, it does count as being called out by a hairy effect. Good so you point. Those off. Uh, next up should be Gear Chronicle. Yep. Gear next Chronicle. up, we got oh, Gears. So, uh, no. so what got reprinted for Gear okay, Chronicle? Here we go. So we got next stage, we got uh, Chrono, Chrono Fang, Fang, Delayed Blazer, History Dream. Maker, TikTok, and the... All right, Chronicle. so um, I'm going to chime in. Oh, and I, I, I did play... Yeah. Chrono Jet and G era. Mm -hmm. So it's about fucking time they gave us a fucking reprint for fucking next page. Agreed. Agreed. You see, we didn't need a, a, a we didn't need a fucking reprint for Chrono Jet. Out of all the ones Chrono that you can try, though, no, no, Chrono Cr Jet, Chrono Fang, and Chrono Jet we, did not need to be reprinted. They Jet did not need, Jet didn't exactly. need a reprint, but like it would be weird for them to not reprint. But like it's the only one that they could realistically reprint I, in this so set. So why give us another Jet reprint when y'all just gave us the original Jet? 
It's because of who we have as our grade one strike searcher. Yeah, the, well, the thing you have to keep... Yeah, that the slot that Jed has occupied is not negotiable. Every clan has their strider yeah, up in that strider, spot. Jed is just special in that it's super accessible And right I think now. that's yeah. why for like one of the grade three reprints that we got for V, they gave us Chrono Fang Tiger because... Unfortunately, Honestly, our only other option okay. is Lost Break, which, let's be honest, Lost, Lost Break just yeah. sucks. But, if, but if, if that is the case, if, they're gonna, if they want to push the Chrono Fang Tiger build, a lot of these reprints should have been Chrono Fang Tiger. Is that the yeah. on the top? It, it is. is. That is one of okay, the... Okay, yeah, I'm glad they actually gave us a fucking reprint for fucking History Maker. Same with TikTok. And no, Same with TikTok, because they didn't yeah. get reprints. History right? Maker, TikTok, and Bear Lock were not that expensive cards. Yeah. I think they had a reprint or two in the past, yes. but fantastic uh, Gear Chronicle now, cards. what's that great two bucks? Uh, uh, Delayed Blazer. It's it should have been, been Melon. should have been Melon. It should have been Melon. One of the biggest misses of this set is Gear Chronicle not having Melon. Next stage, great ripping for V. Doesn't um, matter for premium. Uh, Chrono Fang Tiger, kind of worthless because the card was already budget, while as Chrono Fang Rebellion was not. Right. I gotta so say, Rebellion should have gotten yeah. yeah, On to the new, the, onto the Chrono Jet stuff. Another very powerful deck. It gets access to the Crest mechanic if you can ride into the proper grade one. Which, which I believe, which I wholeheartedly yeah. believe, it was a mistake they did that. Yes. Uh, I don't disagree. But you get the Crest, plus the two Force Markers, your stride, which I believe is simply on hit bottom deck one of your oh, opponent's yeah. rear guards. I not not to cut you off. I'm sorry. No, but like with the whole crest thing, that you we could say the same about uh, Messiahs, and then once Nabu Butama and uh, Luar comes out. Oh they no, also but you're not wrong. Too. Yeah, so, I mean we did bring up crunchy. Harry with the recent yeah. stride for Harry as well. Never had the ability that it gives your front row plus five for every. Yeah, that's another chat exclusive that thing. Is, that is great. That is really interesting in. Over overdress, mm. you're yeah. hitting numbers that are unfeasible for you to for your opponent to actually. But burn this it. isn't an overdress uh, discussion. This is premium. I which... do want to point out the fact that we got a Steam Maiden PG reprint. So I don't know if Steam Maidens are actually going to use it. So Steam Maiden as a deck is not super popular in premium after the banning. However, the Steam Maiden engine is seeing playing Chrono Jet decks and will likely still see play. Yes. And Tirana being able to search out your perfect guards. Correct. And and other similar cards is really powerful. But but there is an argument that it's rather do you need the counter charge? If not, you go the overdress. I don't think they It's not that you um, care about the counter charge, you care about the name. The steam well you just use the overdress version of it. So all in that all though, true. we can agree that these geared chronicle reprints are just generally just Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Some big hits, some big misses. Yeah. But the new stuff, very I said strong. pretty good. Not another, another top The only, only problem with this this picture right here is that Memo was yeah. reprinted. All right, on to what's next? Green we Blue. got Night Rose. Before you talk, a lo because of our release, our English exclusive release of the uh the uh p the Grand Blue Stride set, a lot of this list is inaccurate. Um, can we go to another? Actually, no, I can bring it up quick. Yeah, we don't have the updated images on this. I so will say, I will however, have the different reprints pulled that, yeah, out. A lot of the cards that are inside here are in the Grand Blue Stride So, to set. go over the, uh, to read over the change reprint, Negro Lily has been replaced with Negro Mode. Negro Lily's a better card, but Negro Mode's still solid to have, and I'm not sure if it's all reprint. Kakaia it definitely did get reprinted in the Stride uh, yeah. set alongside Harry. Mm -hmm. Kakaitis is still there. Uh, uh, Beatrice has been replaced with Negrable. Even though Beatrice has already seen an accessible reprint, this really? is a pretty solid. Well, the reprint. thing is, Beatrice also got reprinted. No, in I, the I Nero understand set. that, but I, I didn't know. I didn't even know Negrable got reprinted. Yeah, it really unnecessary. I get why they did it, but just a real downgrade in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, honestly, like with what Grand Blue has to offer. If yeah. they were to choose the next best thing to re to reprint in yeah. this set, that could have possible implications in both V and Premium. The fact that we have Sleep Tugging Bell in the Stoikea uh, Nation and yes. Z makes sense that Negro Boat yeah. would be the one that gets you printed. That, since yeah. you could just get super numbers thanks to yeah. Sleep Tugging that Bell. Promo, yeah. I don't think we've had it. It's still there. Nightstorm and Skeleton Canyon here have been replaced with Dancing Cutlass, an original Chappie, which honestly. Chappie, uh, Chappie is a good Oh, wait, my bad. It's original Dancing Cutlass. Oh, oh, never mind. I was about to make a comment record. about yeah, no. Cutlass being a good reprint, but if it's the original Cutlass, it I It is original Chappie, though, which is I very good. Original Chappie is good. Yeah. As far as the new stuff... Uh, that grade one Ghosty promo, I, in my opinion, it should have been Pat the Ghosty. Because mm -hmm. yeah, Pat yeah. gives you more defensive plays in the... For when you're Vanguard. Yeah. I don't even think, like, just Grand Blue's... 
uh, decks in general actually play that great one even here. For the, yeah. for the grade three Night Road, it's probably going to be a one of in any Grand Blue deck if you want to go down that right. Yeah, it's just but not... But again, it's it, not the Night if, Road. Yeah, so, so it's going to come down to player preference yeah. if it's ever even seen. It, it's another player. one of those cards that really suffers from it giving exactly protect hits. And I think the on hit for Grand Blue is when it hits or when it attacks. Yeah. You know, superior, call, like, superior call any card from your drop. Zone. Correct, and it gains plus two. Uh, next up should be Bermuda Triangle. Uh, no, Ew. I believe next is Aquaforce. No. Oh, it is Bermuda. Ew. All right, uh, because y'all are a bunch of wusses all go over Bermuda. I mean, I've never been a fan right. of Bermuda. The only Bermuda deck that I you know, like technically was uh, Sandy, Rosa, so. fantastic reprint. I believe it's already been reprinted, but more doesn't hurt. Lupina, solid reprint. Cool deck in both V and Premium, but not fantastic. Uh, not too many great uh, VR reprints, though, so it's fine. Tarua, another solid enough reprint, not super expensive, but a good card seeing playing multiple different decks, including the top Highlander strategies in Premium and the On strategies in V. Uh, that's just the air kicking on, so you gotta speak up a little bit louder. Got it! Uh, speak in Shizuku, solid cards for the Harmony play style, which is fine. Speak of itself, they both seen multiple reprints, solid cards, but unnecessary. Uh, Aqua PG doesn't see a ton of play right now, but the fact that you can play six copies means it can always use the reprint. True. Um, now onto the new stuff. So for Loris, honestly, in my opinion, what Butch Short should have did for Loris is give us a bit of a surprise for the old school players who have been asking for a V Loris since V started. Yeah, you don't get nice things. Uh, do you mind if I explain the card itself? Uh, the stride I want to bring up is Fluffy Ribbon Somni. That when it attacks, choose one of your rear guards, bounce it to your hand, call a card from your hand, it gains plus three. This is going to be one of, if not the strongest deck in the next format. Um, on paper, a pure Lordis deck is fine. Definitely suffers from having no VA version of Search, but you get a lot of good turn three aggression with four to five attacks with two force markers, and your early GV1 can enable powerful cards like Speak Up. Where the problem comes in is when you, you can combine the deck with the Riviere cards. Oh. Notably, you can use a card called Selena that on turn one lets you ride up to grade two. If you go first, on turn one you go to grade two. On turn two, you ride into this in stride. You can stride while your opponent is on grade one. And then they ride up to grade two. Assuming they even lived your powerful grade two, your powerful turn two with the Sami stride. You've now been on grade three for a total turn. You don't have to go into Sami again. You can go into any shrine in their arsenal, including the very powerful Heltrata, which you can then Heltrata into, since you're playing a Riviere deck as well, you go into Riviere, which goes into another copy of itself. Absurd deck that goes off way too fast. A bit inconsistent, so I don't think it's going to be the most powerful deck ever, but it is one of those decks that if the, if it hits, if, if it, it goes if off, it, it, it will goal, blow you goal. out of the water yes. and will be a top contender along with Vanquisher and Yasue. Correct. Next. All right, now we get on to the Alpha Force. Right, by the way, before we say anything else, this is my least favorite clan, all right? I do want to put it out there. I hate Alpha Force. I've never liked it. There's, there's a lot of judgment talent yes. going on. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I got I to gotta get this out yeah, in the question? open. Well, no. So, uh, off of this... Because I know the new Thalvis is going to get the uh, on swing, stride, yes. create new markers. Yes. I still think you run the old Thalvis over this. Um, that is because why. Because you don't get the, uh, you don't get the uh, write up and then the opportunity to write right down. Now. So that yeah. is the, that's like I said before in the, in the beginning of this video, a lot of these guys are going to have the struggle that you shoot out of the grade 3G yeah. or the grade 3B card. Right? I think just like Gaia. The two decks have a very different play style. OG Thalas is about restating your rear guard and getting a ton of attacks, whereas V Thalas is about Drawing going cards. wide. And well, they're cards. both they both draw a lot of cards. The V Thalas is really trying to rest their cards in the main phase. The cards that are good in V Thalas are not going to be good in G Thalas. I think they're going to be separate builds. But if you're looking for the best version, I think V Thalas is still a bit better. Yes. Correct. I will say I think the Maelstrom is the Maelstrom getting the same effect. No. No. No? No. So the Maelstrom is not getting on swing stride. Yeah. Only numbers. the striders do. Only the striders do. Only the original yeah. striders. And uh, the obvious was the original strider. We want a bit out of order here, but yeah. the stride itself, 
When this attack right. hits, third battle or more, draw a card, call a card from your hand. So, your I didn't even realize the it was only issue three. with this set of cards is that the th third it should have not been Glory Mushroom, it should have been the original Blue Storm Dragon that was from. Because between the two, VR's uh, Blue Storm Dragon is the most expensive version of the card. In general, I think these reprints are quite weak. Galifa is a good reprint, but not expensive. Well, no, Galifa, Galifa is a good reprint, but again, it's been reprinted multiple times. Exactly. But the reason why is it, it's the prime choice, it allows you to counter charge. Because, no, it's a very good card, it's just need a reprint. Uh, Valios, mediocre no card. One's, no one's playing Valios. No, the, um, the Coral Assault Coral is a good reprint. Coral Assault is fantastic. But Elder Moss is uh, a... No, Elder Moss is a perfect, re perfect choice, only because two reasons. In the Maelstrom deck, he is one of your only 10k grade twos. And not to mention, he plays heavily into the Maelstrom playstyle of getting your Maelstroms into soul. Since we lost Odysseus, he is one of the only he is the only card outside of a grade three Maelstrom Strider unit that can get your Maelstrom to your soul. Fair enough. Uh, lastly is some random Thalos grade two that isn't yeah. has been power crept by better options. Exactly. Uh, next up, finally, the Zoo Clan! Now we finally get on to my thing, Mega Colony! You have five minutes to rant and your time starts now. Okay, so, let me just say this, alright? Aside from the PGs, everything inside here is a good reprint, alright? Airline is great because Zoa exists. This gives you a no restrict, so with Zoa you can be swinging with an Airline with 99k, 999 no restrict. You know, force your opponent to bring out so much hand. Rodora needed a reprint. It has been just a VR for the longest time. It was probably, I think it was like sitting maybe like 10 to $20 for the longest. This reprint is yeah. gonna make it so much more accessible, especially because the main strider in this is Dark Face. So the, the most important thing about this is that there's a grade two in the V era that can search out both of these, which you will be wanting to search out both of these as often as you can, because you're gonna be wanting to ride into the original one first, and then uh, Gridora second. That, uh, that's one thing. Before you continue, I have a question. Ask, doesn't Antlion have a, a combo piece of a grade one or something that gives it a, a further garbage trick? Um, there is a grade one that you can put behind Antlion to make it so that it's essentially unguardable. Phantom Black exists, which by the way, Phantom Black is a rare, so it's super cheap. That makes it so that it's a, um, so it's a discard one, to gain plus six and also make it so that you cannot call normal units. So you can't call normal units, you can't call sentinels, you're locked into only grade zero triggers from hand. Add that to the Gridora Stride, which locks your opponent out of G-Guards as well. It makes Antlion nearly impossible to guard. Notably, the existence of Elementarius Sanctitude makes That's the strategy the only, a lot riskier. It makes it a lot riskier, but again, Antlion can't be guarded with sentinels. But, but the problem is doesn't work like it's, that. Work like, it's an order card. Yeah, that's an, an order, order, so that yeah, gets around it. Zone. You know what? Fair, right? So, Little Dorcas as well, great here to search out your original Strider. The effect on the original Strider is kind of irrelevant. The, on Dark Race? Like, the only thing about him is that you can Soul Blast 2 when your opponent calls out a card to rest it. That is very relevant. That's the main reason to play him. If you get enough soul, you can stop an if, opponent's entire turn. You see, that's the thing. If you get enough soul. There's not a lot of cards in the main There's, a, there's a couple of cards that can get you more soul. Yeah. But honestly, if you think about it, the amount of soul that you will be generating to get those skills off yeah. is more... It will be more cheaper for you to just to run the V-Era Brilliant Blister. Yeah. Which does the exact same thing, but during the battle phase, yeah, so which honestly, the thing is, is that a lot of decks could actually fade out your Dark Faces effect. Like, it's usually bad. you can get maybe okay. like six so, to eight soul if you're like really lucky. Six is usually what I've been finding to get. And usually it can just call out three things. Be sweet, awesome, call over those three things or just move them around. On the topic of the Strider, it's corresponding Stride on attack. Choose one of your opponent's graveyards in front and back row. They can't stand during their next stand phase, but if they're already, but they need to be rested first. It doesn't rest them for you. Right? And that's actually where the on strike skill, which we haven't talked about any of their on strike skills at all. But with Dark Face's on strike skill, he can actually rest two things and stun them as well, yeah. and give them the effect that if they're still rested at the end of your opponent's turn, you get draws. Most uh, of the Strider effects, just to go back for a second, are a pretty simple version of Counter Blast One and gain a card advantage in that clan's flavor. Uh, so we didn't really feel the need to talk about them because they 
they use up a lot of important counterclass early, but Dark Face is one of the most powerful ones if your opponent commits to the board. True. Other than that, like, Relish Lady, she's been reprinted maybe once in uh, Twimble Rare Rarity. You're guaranteed to get the one copy if you buy a Revival Collection. And really, Mega Colony decks only ever play the one copy. So, this, this reprint is like so so. Um, Hornet, it, Hornet's only ever been printed one time. But I don't so, think it's expensive. Hmm? I don't think it's expensive. It's not expensive, but it's a good thing to have this yeah. reprint here just so that it's, it's just more accessible. Yeah. Because it's an odd hit search for a grade three. Yeah. Which you want to be searching all your grade threes in this deck anyway. Yeah. Garafa being reprinted is cool because you got the Garafa starter, but other than that. Suffers from Seal Dragons, where it's a great reprint, except for the part where you need the go like to already, the set it comes out and to get the rest of the deck. I've already exactly. explained the cool thing about Garafa that now that we have the starter, he means a 32k attacker when yeah. he swings unboosted. But and then other than that, machining like machining Black Saturn, it's a promo that I we might have had, but either way, it's a promo that got reprinted in the last um not the last Master Revival Collection, but I think it got reprinted in the last plan. Not collection. much to talk about. Well, let's talk about machines are not doing much anymore. Especially not that card. Yeah. Almost done. Yep, that great sounds great. Nature. I can actually contest this. So, Clapping Monkey, I've tested this card. I cannot figure out why this card has this skill. I can't pull it physically up. think about why this card, like, it, it retires your own rear guards. It, it, the only reason why that's relevant is because of the big belly. Understandable, but you're striding. I mean, understandable, but you're, you're literally getting a lot of things just to guard. Who's to say that you're going to draw into cards that are going to stop the attack coming forward? That's what I said. Like, the only thing that's relevant about it is that it interacts with Bill, Big, but the, big but Belly. The problem with, but the problem is that it interacts with the Big Belly, not G Big Belly. I know. That's what I'm saying. Is that That's the only thing that's relevant about it is that it interacts with Big Belly. I would rather Those them... Brown Tigers. But I would rather them give me the counter-charging counter -charging, um, G Guardian instead of this. Especially after the fact that they big uh, yeah, I was going to Honestly, if they didn't ban Spangle, Spangle would have been the spot would be here. Spangle. Wait, huh? Okay, so to clarify for the audience's home... Oh no, I get why this... Oh no, no, no. So the card says, when placed, all the units gain minus 5,000 until end of turn. Wait, huh? They minus their power. No, no, I understand that. So, so to clarify, what will end up happening is, you minus your opponent's rearguard's power, but you minus your own Vanguard's power. Which means that it's a net, un it's not changed, except for the fact where if they call new rear guards, they don't have the minus. And they just swing on your Vanguard. I'm sure there's some niche case, but I don't see it. Definitely not a good reprint. Like I said, it only feels like it's usable and if you're using the VB yeah. belly. And that's um, not it. For the other grade three, uh, the grade three Fox Lady, I forgot her name. Isabel. Uh, Isabel. Isabel, very good, very good version of her. I believe her evolved form is better. It's her, better, uh, and I, I don't, I don't know if it's worth too much. I think that one was worth more. All I know is that uh, the original, much. yeah. All I know is that the original one was only printed one time, yeah. one time only. It's now, not a battery part. It's not a good one. No, sorry, well, the thing is, I think the reason why they reprinted uh, is about because Chat Noir works with her because mm -hmm. she gives the lottery ability to, to do everything. Yes. And then if you hit, uh, if you the lottery off of Chat Noir, you, you get a, a back row attack. Channel uh, R, another card Cram that they really need the reprint, but still very good to save. Yeah, but Cram Tiger, oh my god, this is a reprint. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Already got reprinted yeah, with the flagship. Yeah, got reprinted the Rob of Alex. Now, what card did need a reprint was Lesser Rider. Card has been creeping up in price for a while. How much is it now? Uh, I know I sold mine, my place set recently for like 30 bucks for. Whew. Yeah. And so a, And another card I said needed a reprint is uh, Mini Sabro. It is, it is your best grade yeah, teacher in the day. One of the, one of the many cards on the set that is not expensive, but always good to see more copies exactly. of out and about. Uh, again, this this clan does suffer from the G to D choice. Mm -hmm. D Big Belly is better for drawing. G, uh, G Big Belly is better for restanding. So it's, it, it all depends on how you want to build your deck. In the casing of the strike of the strike unit, I don't really remember what it does. I am pulling it up now. Omniscience Dragon Wisdom Teller. On hit, choose one of your rear guards and it gains plus four. And when it attacks a vanguard, if this unit's power is uh, 2,000 or greater, draw a card. So it's fine. Yeah, that's it what I, I, 
It does exactly what I assumed it was going to do. Uh, and unfortunately, I'd like it a lot more if it killed the rear guard to trigger your skills. Yeah. Alright, so going on to the next plan. The and final the play! The final one! We well, finally got into the end. No, we're not done yet. Oh, there's a couple of odds and ends that we gotta tie up. Uh, Neo Nectar! As far as like so, the actual plans go, this is the one that we gotta tie up. Me personally, I, I play somewhat for the Neo yes. Nectar. Uh, Rainbow Dragon is a very good choice for Asha. It is, as it lets them call out V and Taro to give their Vanguard a lot of power on the opponent's character. Correct. Then you have the evolved version of the V version of Asha. This is a good card. It allows you to get your fairy flower yeah. tokens out. Makes the deck budget in V. Not much not more much, to say. Not much to say. Uh, Enus. Bam. Fantastic. Oh my god. Right. Enus has been going up in yeah. price because of the... Uh, Katrina on ban. Katrina, Katrina on ban and plus right. mixing Enus with the Cray Elemental Infant. Yes. Very powerful card. You have to see it reprinted. Thuria, old Thuria and old Katrina. Fine cards if you want to play an older style of Bloom, but pretty outdated. I believe that's another promo that's seeing a reprint. Like all the other promos in the set. They're cool to see. Not, nothing hit, special. They're hit or miss. Now Asha. then, new Asha. Oh another yeah. super powerful deck. Yeah, Thanks yeah. to the unban of Green Katrina, Neo Necro now is a really powerful stride good. turn. And... Old Asha lets the deck really beat down on turn three, even if it goes first. Previously, it's turn three going first was a bit weak. Mm -hmm. I think it really relied on Katrina, but Asha lets you get those force markers rolling and lets you beat away with its stride, which I believe lets you clone one of your rear guards. I have it right here. Flat and also, more importantly, it gives you more GB for when you call out your Katrina to call exactly. out Exactly. Uh, the stride in specific, on hit. Choose when rear guard, search your deck for the same name as the card you chose, and the card you call gains plus two. Very powerful early game to a deck that was a bit lacking it, but had everything else. The but one thing I want to add to this, though, is that I kind of wish that they reprinted that one grade three that, for a counter blast and a soul blast, lets you search for a card with the same name as your Vanguard. You, you mean Inez? No, no, not no a uh, uh, Green Lord. Yeah, Green oh, Lord. Oh, okay. But I kind of wish that they reprinted that The reason why I noted, uh, I'm glad you had your children, because this, just like Alt Mile, this now gives you a going first and a going second play. Agreed. You don't, you don't have to use the VR version of Asha. You can just use G Asha and Enus together in one deck. That way you have offensive if you're going first and defensive if you're going second. So that was the end of the main 24 plans. We have four final cards to talk about. Yep, and... Uh, they're not bad. It's not I have it, them pulled up just, so I can just read them while you find it them. Loops around have, here, I think they're, they're older. You'll have to go further down. Yeah, I gotta go or further down. Or find the set on the wiki. Uh, I These gotta go. The I gotta. Uh, the Mentals. Um, while our editor here, yeah, just go to the. Yeah, uh, I gotta scroll through look, this Facebook. Don't thing. even look up history collection. History collection. Vanguard. No, it, it not in in just in. The well, internet. I have the history collection pulled up over here on this tab. Perfect. So, I think the first one that we should talk about is our harmonic yeah. Messiah over here. Correct. Uh, normally I don't. Wanna, I think this card is important enough to read through everything it does. Uh, previously it had no text on it. Yeah. But now there's a lot of text on it. It is a wall of text. You can only have one in your G, D, G deck. When you go into it, you can use any number of your lock cards and unlock them. Choose the same number of cards placed uh, as the cards you unlock with effect discard them. It it was a this card is an adaptation of Zero Harmonics Messiah that had most of these effects in a similar form. Zero really needed a way to combat lock just for balancing reasons. But they main... really didn't. This card really hurts Chaos Breaker and really nothing else. And it's not only feeding lock because it does so many other things, people will be putting in their G-Zone anyway. Now, it's not, it doesn't kill lock decks as it is a one-time get-out-of-jail-free card. Mm -hmm. That means you're not going into your other powerful strides and requires discards, but it's a pretty unnecessary nerf to an okay strategy. To be fair, though, I kind of feel like Chaos Breaker as a whole was making a resurgence in the meta recently. It was, but not enough to warn a direct counter card. Not Next to up. warn it, but I feel like it was, this is felt like just like an inevitable thing that was going to happen yeah. sooner or later. Next up, uh, from the Vanguard Circle or G-Zone, when placed on Vanguard at the beginning of your turn, if it's face up, if your damage zone has two or less cards and your opponent did not give you a damage in the previous turn, put the top card of your deck in your damage zone draw a card. Uh, this is a uh, compounded uh, another sure. effect scene with the heal guards sure. Sure. in an attempt to combat people playing damage denial strategies, either not attacking you for a turn to deny your plays, or not attacking you at all to shut down your deck to enable some other win condition like these A. Not only that, this is actually live if you go second, since your opponent cannot attack going first, 
when it comes back over G or G. Well, no, it is not. No, because you have to either go into it or you need to have it face oh, up. Oh, I'm getting it confused with um, the the other skill that we're about to talk about. Oh, uh, the last skill. Yeah. They're arguably Which is the most, the important, most skill. important skill on this card. And from your G zone. Before you start, and this okay. is the reason why every person is going to need this for their deck. Yeah. From and your, the reason oh. why this card is going to be the, one of the most sought after and the most expensive card. Especially since it's a, while it is an errata <laughs> version of an old card, the old card was a box topper promo. Which is going right now for about 30? 20 to $30. Yeah. Wait, um, I'm so, trying to see if I can pull it up here so that everyone yeah. can see exactly what this yeah. does. Here it is. So I'll read it while you have that pulled up. Yep. G-Zone, when your grade one unit is placed from riding from a grade zero, if you want second, reveal it from your G-Zone and put a guardian shield ticket into your hand, which is like a blitz or which is like the quick shield, but instead it gives 20k shield for the battle. So if you really want, you can use this as a discard fodder, but that's guarding a whole attack. Now it makes going second feel a lot safer. But now keep in mind that when you do use it, uh, the, the Guardian Quick Shield effect, you cannot ditch the Quick Shield and this card at the exact same time. They are still held under the order called, you can only use one order per turn. That is correct. A uh, Harmonix Messiah might not change the metagame in a super significant but way, does, but, but will change the way the games themselves are played. It does influence the gameplay. It unfortunately might not be the most budget card, but if you can get it, play it. The best thing about Your this... Your G-Zone might feel tight, but it is worth the slot. Think of it as less of a G unit and more of a game piece, like a starting band Yeah, the best thing about this is you that wish it gives, you could cut it, it gives have the extra, extra G-Zone benefits slot, to going you just second. Play it. Yeah. it gives extra benefits to going second. Next up are the three uh, main deck Rain Elementals. I want to knock out the more mediocre ones first before going into the big one. Rain Elemental Pichon. I'm getting it pulled up right here. When placed on Reaper during your turn, all your opponent's rear guards in the same column of this unit loses all of their abilities and cannot get them. This is useful if you're worried about decks that you have used on board effects to disrupt your plays. So if you're worried about a deck like Victor, Fenrir or Megatron, how can Victor do it? Victor gives everything resist. Oh, also, or, this if you want to, yeah, if you want to get rid of resist effects to kill their rear guards or stop on board effects like the aforementioned. Also, Mega Colony has a lot of lingering effects that make yeah. their opponent lose their ability to boost or yeah. intercept oh, as well. Exactly. Um, I'm, I'm, it's a cool effect. I'm not really sure what decks they first did from it. Maybe a deck that can easily search for it as a one of, but. I feel like this is going to be a meta a call mostly. In yeah. my opinion, this card is fine. But it should have been something that's more more um, meta relevant that's going to actually help you. This should have been again. I know it's been reprinted already, but this should have been a Bobo. Agreed. Next up. Oh, and, and, and to mention that yeah. the the uh, should like only cards have gone up. They have from the old five to the new ten, but their base powers have not changed. Correct. Anyway, next uh, up is Light Elemental Peeker. It now cannot be chosen by your opponent's card effects and GB one when you're instead of ten or less, eleven or less Vanguard uh, is attacked. Who's under vanguards? It gets plus two until end of turn. Is that only when it's attacked? Wait, is that not a once per turn? It is not a once per turn. It's oh just my whenever god. Oh it's my attacked. God. So whenever it's attacked, it turns it into a 13 no no no, 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 no. If I. This translation could be wrong. Mm -hmm. But if I'm reading this correctly, your opponent attacks your 11k, which, mind you, all of these old striders to go into these erotic drives are. They attack your vanguard, your GB1. It gains plus two K until end of turn. It's now 13k. They attack it again. The effect activates again. But yeah, then, so then, it's actually, it's always going to be a 13k. The power gain still end of turn. Oh, wow. Yeah. This, so, now, mind you, I want oh, no, to be fair, I know, though. I know now why they made this card. Yeah. This is the Vanguard Vanguard Zero effect. But mm -hmm. also, like, because now that your Vanguard is now at 13k, it doesn't mean that this no, but it, multiple times, though. Yes, it does. No, it says... Oh, I see what you mean. Power, it doesn't I misunderstood. Say, it's it doesn't not saying if it's original power. power. It's saying That's it's our bad. Power Reading is hard at 2 a.m. So it just turns it to a 13k for the turn? So it, turns, yeah. so it gives it plus 2 for the turn. If the power was somehow reduced again, it would go back up in increments of 2 again. Okay. If your opponent used an effect to reduce your Vanguard's power, you could climb it back up. So the funny thing about this is that I know that there's a Welsha DP list that is running around in Premium right now. Yeah. This basically cancels out any of the negging yeah. that that deck it, would do to any cool of card. your decks. Definitely stronger than the last one we mentioned for these new Strider decks. But fitting in a, a Grade 1 that simply gives your Vanguard plus 2k for the turn is kind of hard to justify. Deck space and Premium is very tight, and the resist is nice, but... 
The card doesn't do anything beyond make it slightly easier to not die sometimes, especially since that plus two won't matter. I think we'll see some decks that can tutor it out, like Claret Sword, try it out, but in general... But you do know where this card does shine. Where? In a pure Cray Elemental deck. Mmm. I mean, like, sure. the, the thing about this is that I feel like, like I said, Welsh is the one thing that I'm thinking of. Yeah, there are some random be others, the but most, yeah. like, useful. So unless that deck becomes, like, a tier one deck and everyone's playing it, I don't yeah. see this card seeing that much play. If there's a... The Striders that can search it out will play it. And there's not that many that I can. Yeah. I don't and, know. Like, I can maybe see it in Gavrail. That deck has a lot of card yeah. selection. Um, lastly, yeah, and the this, one thing that we're all been waiting to talk about. Light Elemental Homily, already a very playable card in the format, is now even stronger. So it has the same continuous. All rear guards cannot attack the Vanguard during fifth or more battle that turn unless counter blast one was paid. Previously, the second effect was occupied by cost, requiring a counter blast one when you call it, if possible. That is now replaced with the act ability to remove it from the game to give you, not your vanguard, you, the player, the blanket ability when your opponent's rear guard would attack this turn during the fifth or more battle, cannot attack and most your opponent's counter blast until the end of your next turn. Which is Previously, Hanley's biggest weakness would be decks that could remove it. A deck like Thavas would not like to see the card except for the fact that it could kill it against most decks, meaning it was not impeded by it. Now you cannot do that. Decks focused on getting seven or eight attacks or seven, eight plus attacks turn cannot rely on that strategy to win because if your opponent calls and uses Hanali, that is a turn you can't do that unless you burn a ton of counter blasts. Yeah. Which, which, this card alone affects how people are going to build their decks. Yeah. They're going to have to build their decks optimally to get at least up to five, up to five to four positive swings. Yeah. yeah and, not, and not go over. Not only that, but, but I feel like, like this is also going to make damage denial so much more prevalent in premium than it was before. It might, but at the same time, new harmonics exist to counteract that. Exactly. So, with all these new Cray elements, yeah. each one of them counteracts a certain problem that's been going on in, in premium. In general, between the way that the new strides, uh, the Arata strides play out, plus new Hanali, I think the meta is going to go from less of a lot of small attacks on one big kill turn to a, a faster game, but a longer game, focused on slightly weaker individual turns that start sooner. So instead of a deck going for a turn four, zero to six, one shot, not literally, but figuratively, you're gonna see a deck spending their turn three, hitting you, and then their turn four, hitting you some more, and their turn five, finally finishing you off, because decks can't be built to go all out when a card says, no, because you cannot interact with the effect of Hanali in any way as it is applied to you instead of any of your units. In to, in, especially, until, um, especially unless what you're going to decide to do the dumb thing and build cards that affect the player. Yeah. Um, any, that's, so that's the set. Will yeah. drastically change the premium format? Who Remains knows? to see it for better. Regardless well, I think of, it'll be cool so, and fun. So <laughs> regardless of whether or not it's going to change the format or not... Oh, it's is, going to change the format. No, no. Like, regardless of that happening or not, yeah. I I think it's very clear that this is going to be a really fun format. Agreed. Absolutely. So, in closing, what is your opinion on the history collection? Is it a hit? Is it a miss? Is it going to change the format? Did they, did they choose a card or card that you think are better for these sets? Uh, decks that you, that you might play. Is there a new deck that you want to play? Uh, for me, I'm very excited for all of them. It literally gives me the flavor of my old school deck that I have all these multi packs coming at you with the with the high benefit of the new era with crits. Exact same thing with Gavrail. Goes back to the old play style with multi attacks and aggression, but with a new flavor. I'm very excited for Mega Connie because honestly, like right now I'm in premium, Mega Connie has kind of been getting stale. Every single deck is basically the exact same thing, only with maybe a different grade three here and there. So I'm excited that the history collection gives me more reasons to try to experiment at least within the plan. So, like, subscribe. I know this has been a very long video. I hope you can edit it down a bit, Z. This is yeah. going to be, like, well, maybe over two hours. I might split this into individual segments. This now. was two hours almost on the dot. So you know what you can do? You can cut it uh, 12, 12 I'll probably points. split it in between each different nation that we exactly. talked about. And so, cut out some of the fluff. Yeah. So, I hope you guys like, subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below. What did you think? What, what did they not bring out for you specifically? 
Uh, in my opinion, again, I know we're talking about this longer, but in my opinion, they should have, in certain spots, get cards that we that they haven't given us in D. Like certain arguments that they haven't finished. I would have liked to see some more. Nightmare Land. I would have liked to see some old promos. The original brand still hasn't had a printing in the West. True. Uh, it would have been nice to see uh, some more Brent support. Maybe another Grade 4 or a brand new Brent Grade 3. Yeah, but I don't think that's what the set was set to do. But either way, who knows? Maybe in the next few weeks you might get some more stuff. Maybe some brand new cards to support some old archetypes. Who knows? Hopefully, maybe who will remember that there's other units in MegaCon. Either. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're done. Now we're done. Now we're done. Uh, but we will see you guys here next time. Uh, do look out for some other videos we, uh, for these decks that we have talked about. We will be doing some testing fight videos of the new history collection in, uh, in the preset well, before it comes yeah, out, especially in the post. So, oh, no, like, I subscribe I want, I want from everyone here at BBN. We will see you guys next, next time. time. Barbecue bacon burger. You got to be Okay. I got to get going. Okay. Oh, okay. oh, that was a good recording, I guess. Yeah. So, yes. Sorry if I talked a bit too much. I just, I know I can talk fast.